no matter what you are Do you want to get the beating of your life? Beat me. Just because I told you to put it in. What nonsense truth have you told us, Okodele? Okodele, you are insulting us. And we want you. No, I want you to leave this compound now. Oh. This same compound, we are young men of our land, work as laborers. Roasting meat for a fellow young man like us from another town. Ah, I look at the three of you and I wonder, does this mean that our Osili is inferior to his? Hey, 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 Okudele, your provocation is getting too much. Leave this place now before we descend on you. Oh, descend on me? Okay, no problem. People do not have become a successful hunter in our own land, killing our own animals and the young men who was the meat for him. For me, can't say that, I may lose it one day. With this useless idiot that will never mind his business. Obukwe, I listen to him carefully. I think he has a point. There is something Chiku Dinibo is doing right that we are doing wrong. We need to ask ourselves, what is it? I'm Why have you refused to teach any young man of Osili your hunting skills? What are you saying? I am the one they call Okudu. I was trained never to look at faces. There is something you know about this forest that we the young men don't. And that is why each day you gun down our animals. Teach us that we may grow together. Teach us. of this land are thinking the same exact thing. But I'm not hiding anything from you. I believe I'm just favored by the gods. I greet you. you. The most handsome man in our city. The only man that came all the way from Orunebo and outdid the men of Osele in their own land. Chai, I greet you. How are you? <laughs> oh, fine. <laughs> Seeing you know, should make any maiden happy. <laughs> You flatter me. No, not at all. I speak only for the truth. Every man in this community lost for the day you, Chukudinibo, who speaks sweetly to her. Or even call her young girl. <laughs> Very well, ladies. Carry on. You know? <laughs> ah, Ukuroma. Ukuro Tokuroma. With a lot of money too. What else should a medal ask for? Mm. Ah! Hello. I totally forgot that you are here with me. Look at him. Is he not handsome? Ah. What was that rubbish for? What rubbish? Zara, Zara, you're away from me now. 
So let us not get to open them. Sarah! I'm just buying this meat because you know I need meat. This is just bone. Okay, you may come in now, in now, in Give me my money. Hey, Papa, you think it's easy? Enter that bush and go and kill your own animal. Now. But can I not the only one who is in the mud? Yeah? You are poor, one right there. Hey, Papa, okay. You can't know. What do you think? This is your customer. Odukwe, about what you said earlier, eh? I don't blame you, because I've known that you are destined to be useless. <laughs> hey, mad car and useless mouth. What's the truth? Hey. How can you call a man, a full-grown man, useless? Hey, hello, man. Hey, Odukwe, if I were you, eh, I will deal with him. Seriously? Oh, no, no, you're now. Oh, no, no, you're crazy, sir. Madokan and his useless mouth. Why would I waste my energy on someone that has no control over his mouth? Tell me. What are you saying? Of the truth, if not that the God sent you to our land from his own land, a great hunter, and he employed the old man. Useless. <laughs> I bless the gods for saving us from salvation through the hands of a young man from Urunebo. But really, you would have been chasing cricket about. Odubo <laughs> requested for this. Prepare them for him before sunset. <laughs> what is your problem? You don't eat him. He's too good in the world, not there for everybody to eat. Stop being unreasonable with this girl. I am so surprised that you know the meaning of that word, unreasonable. You said I'm supposed to be the one angry here. Then why are you acting back as if I was a nobody? And you think I will stand? Why should you humiliate me like that? I'm back. I'm going to be more. Such a child. Grow up. What is wrong with this? I heard your voices from the backyard. Who tried to ask her? She always loses her senses whenever she comes across to I'm just tired of your childish. It's a lot to you put in there. Again. What is wrong with you? Why kill yourselves over a man that has no time for you? No, Uche. That is not even the issue. Zarambia is simply jealous because she knows that you could demolize me more. Oh, really? Sorry. I didn't just realize that you are distracted. Who is jealous? Me. Sorry. I will always remind both of you that Chukudinibo will never settle for a lady who fights over him or flaunt herself cheaply at him. Keep wasting your time and energies. Meanwhile, when you do fight, meet me. I don't know why you are boiling. <laughs> Something <sweet>. is. <laughs> if not that, her father was the person that handed her over to me to marry five years ago. To have sent her back in the Why? What did she do? I asked my wife to shut up. Hey, but uh, I don't share my brother. That is not enough reason for you to consider sending your wife back in. What other reasons? There is always a way to follow women. I'm not going to make you work as you know. No, you won't. Don't tell me the meat is ready already. Chukudinibo never fails. <laughs> you can say that again. Because these my customers here, they are already demanding for the meat. This <laughs> <laughs> is the time I usually like. I'm going to say, you can, you can. Echazona! Echazona! Hey, please. Take this meat and go and prepare it. As you can see, these my customers here are already demanding for the meat. Okay. 
Tije kuye zibo se. Eh, please eh, tell eh, Chuku to the boy that he will hear from me first tomorrow morning. He asked that I collect balance. I just gave you a message, didn't I? Oh, okay. Elushie, if I may ask you, what exactly did your wife say that you asked her to shut up? They are stupid to strip that thing. I don't understand what you mean. Zaram and her friend fought over a man. What is wrong with it? Why could the maidens of Osili fight one another over a stranger? Why? I don't understand. Chuku the may not be from Osili. But he's been here for a very long time, so you can't refer to him as a stranger. That is not enough reason to fight over him. <laughs> hey, hey. Every sensible maiden would like to have him as a husband. So don't make me think that you're senseless. How? In Ajum, how? Are you not supposed to be among those maidens fighting for him? Hmm? Or does your poor widow of a mother not deserve somebody that is that rich and responsible as a son-in-law? Eh? Then he should chase after the woman he wants and not the other way round. Eh? Mm. Mama, imagine Zopota and Zaram, two very close friends, in constant fights because of him. Hey! Oh my god, you. Who change? They did so because they are sensible. And I hope you have a man that is better than you. Hmm? If not, you better pack your load now. I don't even know why I'm having this conversation with you. Now, call me for my to do this for me and not without a price of course or do I still owe you? Aouchechi, I say you are still owing me. I'm doing all I can. I'll get back to you. Just need to be patient. At least share your progress with me. What is he saying? Have you even told him about me? How can you say that? Of course I have. Just that Chukutunibo is a man of very few words. One hardly knows what he's up to. He tells no one about his personal affairs. Madika, I came to you because I do not want to be amongst those maidens that flaunt themselves cheaply at him. I want to penetrate him in a more mature way. I don't know why you're finding it difficult. It seems you're finding this difficult. Uchechi, patience is a virtue. And those that have it are never led astray. Meaning? So relax. Eh? Soon you are going to smile. I am Madoka. I'm the game planner. Eh? I'm in charge. Relax. You know you are looking for trouble, don't you? It's me, Yokudeli. When did this one start? Why have you decided to be an obstacle to me? Hmm? Okudeli, why must you show your hapless face this early morning? What have I done wrong to you? What is it? Hapless face. Uzoma, what is the meaning of this? When did this enmity between us start? Huh? What have I done wrong? I can see that you're totally disillusioned. Better seek for help before your disillusionment drives you crazy. Nonsense. 
Okay, but at least tell me who you are giving that food to. Where are you taking it? Who's your mom? Something is not right. Something is definitely wrong. And I must find out. I must find out. Greetings. Please, is this Chupu Dinibo's compound? Uh, who else owns this large compound where every bodied man like us will sleep? She seems to be a stranger. Yes, almost stranger, I would say. Greetings. Greetings. Who are you looking for? Chupu Dinibo. By the gods, I am Chukudinibo. Mumbo sent me. He says I should give you the balance of the meat from yesterday. He also told me to tell you that he requires the same quantity at sunset. Pray for me that the gods will do it again. Bring out the animals from hiding so that I can shoot and kill. I promise. I will. Who is she? Oh, you sheep. I met her at uh, Mobo's bar yesterday. She's obviously Mobo's sister. Can we start discussing about sales girls? Odukwe, she's a sales girl, and you're a young man roasting the meat that another man has killed. And you sell them. What are you? Enough. Do you know it Enough. Sorry, boss. Yanga, who are you? Are you talking to me? This is the road that leads to Chukudinibo's house. What did you go there to do? <laughs> Can someone in this village just surprise me and be nice for once? What is wrong with everybody? <laughs> I hope it's not what I'm thinking. Greetings, Chikudinibo. Greetings. <laughs> come, come with me. I need to show you this. Whatever it is, I'm sure you can show me here. Okay. This is specially made for you. I know you like it. I made it the native way. <laughs> Do you want to taste it? Acts like this make me wonder if one 
is death or something. Or maybe it is just that one is determined to make the other one angry. What do you mean by that? I have told you times without number. Stop bringing me food, Usama. Not when I don't see you getting an alternative. You cannot be starving when a maiden like me is here. I have said no. Very well then. Thank you very much. May the gods of my land bless you for your kindness. We say... <laughs> Come. Eat. This is really nice. I'm getting so close. Chikuti Nimu, you are for me and for me alone. Mm -hmm. What is she? See, I'm going to stop. If only she knew that this her delicious food ends up in the belly of the three wise men, she would have stopped bringing it. <laughs> yeah, the Amaduka. Going to tell her is not beyond what you can do. I know you very well. But listen to me. Hmm? You better keep your tongue short. Why are you reading that? I didn't say I will tell her now. I will not. But you quick, will you tell her? It is high time someone took it upon himself to tell her that I will never eat the food that she brings. But when you see, I keep asking myself, why you refuse to eat her food? Yes, when you see, tell us why you always reject her food. This food is very tasty. It's very tasty. I am a man of the gods. I never do anything on my own. I pray to continue that. Mm. What do you see? Hmm? Mmm. What are you sure? Look at her. One would think she's coming from an important place. Wait. You mean Uzama? I'm sure she's coming from Chikudunubu's place. So this is true. Odukwe told me that she takes food to Chikudunubu every order. Who told her he cannot fend for himself? Desperate fool. Wait a minute. What has come over our maidens? What has come over them? <laughs> Everyone wants to be with Chukudinibu. Is it because I've not asked you yet? Because I know you've joined them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No. I've not joined anybody. Oh. So what were you doing taking water to me the other day? Don't forget my man works with him. I was... I was only being nice to him. You know he has no sister and... And who told you he cannot fend for it? So, you just said that about his own. See Chukubi. I will be here to see as the drama unfolds between Chukudinibu and Osili Medins. I'll be here. See, what has come over her? Huh? Why would she talk to you like that? That is not even my problem. I saw her take the food for Chukudinibu. I could not believe my eyes. Listen, listen, um, you have to calm down. That's just not a reason for you to worry. Maybe she didn't mean anything, but she meant something. No way she told me to my face. And I, open the lid, I'm happy. Well, so just calm down, alright? Don't tell me to calm down, don't tell me to calm down. I cannot lose my woman to a stranger from another land. I will not! Okudele. Okudele. Don't do something stupid though. What has come over these maidens? 
they are dumping their men for Chukudimimi. And if you're not saying you should marry all of them, as far as I'm concerned, you've not shown interest in any. Not even one. Strange. Is anything wrong with our maidens? If not that we know you very well, I would have said that you are doing the other one. I appreciate your concern, all of you. But the truth is that women are the least of my problems right now. Let me see. No man will be praised for saying that. We all need these maidens. You all know me as a successful hunter from Uru True. But you have no idea where I'm coming from. Before my father died, he said to me, he said, Son, in everything that you do, ensure that a woman, and never let a woman take away your senses. Be wise in matters concerning women. Yeah, I believe every father could have said that to their sons. My father said something like that to me. Your father should have. Yes, My father even told me more. Uh -huh. Mine was not just your regular cliche. My father suffered. He suffered in the hands of the woman he called his wife. My mother. Before he died. She was so mean to him that people around... People around wondered if they were enemies and not husband and wife. As a matter of fact, he died as a result of her ill treatment. I'm sorry, it's so sad to hear that. The most painful part is that I was there to witness it with him. I was there with my father. And day to day, day by day, I watched as my mother sustained the gradual and systematic destruction of the man that not only married her, but cared for her. Does it look like that I'm going? Where? I'm going out. Njideka, mm. the least you would have done was to tell your husband that you are going out. <laughs> husband? And where is the husband? Njideka. Njideka. I'm still searching to see the husband. Njideka, you are going from worse to worse. So I am no longer qualified to be called your husband in Jideka. You are not qualified to be called a husband. Let alone to be called in Jideka's husband. I am not under any obligation for you to know where I am going to and where I am coming back from. Have I made myself clear? Papa, why does mama treat you like this? This is not how my friend's mothers behave. Why is mama so different? You are still a little child. When you grow older, you will understand certain things better. Papa, I'm old enough to understand anything. I see things, I'm not blind. Mama does not treat you right and it is not good. Just look at her quicker, she has not eaten anything. 
I do not wish to label your mother a bad wife. But our people always say that marriage is like a sealed bundle. When you open it, whatever thing you see, you take it. My son, I never dreamt of having bad marriage. I never. I will never allow my wife to treat me like this. Never. Nobody prays for that. But as a father, I advise you to be very wise and at a lot when it comes to issues concerning women. Some come pretending to be what they are not. But when you, my son, decide to take anyone as your wife, I want you to make sure that you must have tasted her in every possible way. Understand? Yes, Papa. Papa, I'm very, very hungry and I need something to eat. I understand, my daughter. My daughter, I will make sure you have something to eat. Is that what this foolish man told you? Is yeah. that what he has been telling you? You are the foolish man here, not my father. Ah, don't lay your beauty hands on, on him again. Leave him alone. Mm. So, you finally turned my children against me. Am I seeing you? Nchide, did you know when you left this house and you are coming back now? Did you even bother yourself about what your children will eat? Did you? Why should a bad mother? What about the children? Then they have a good father. Why? Nchide, so you have eventually lost it. Hmm. So you are completely mad now, isn't it? You are asking me questions. You are asking me questions. By the time I finish with you today, the question, the answer will come by itself. You are them. Is it not my own that I've seen in that group? Eh? How many times have I warned you not to touch my taste? Give the food for the children. I'll give them have... Drop the food for the children. Which children? The children that were done for the mommy. I said drop it for the children. I'd rather die than for me to drop this food. I'll give us our food. Give us our I'll food, man. Food. Which food? Yeah. Who is your mother? Which mama? Next time if you want to cook, cook for them. You go to the market and buy your own ingredients. I'd rather die than to drop this food. This is not fair. This is not fair, mama. This is not fair. So you threw the food? I made for my children away. Mama, this is not fair. This is not fair. Nice baby, come on, go. You want to tell your own children. I'm not making myself friend. <laughs> Stupid baby. <laughs> Then I asked myself, I said to myself, I said, why involve yourself with something that will end you someday? Just does not make any sense. So sorry, Ranishi. But every woman is not the same. 
There are still some good ones out there. Maybe. Just maybe. Someday. I will find that woman who is different. Who will make me love her. But till then. I have no business with her. Well, how do you find that woman? When you are not ready to give one a chance. When I see her, I will know. Hmm. I will. The spirit of my late father will lead me to her. You really suffered as a child. My father died as a result of my mother's treatment. Every time I see a woman, somehow, somewhere, I just see that same woman that brought me into this earth. I'm yet to find a wife. But when I do, I will surely know. Excuse me. You know the implication of his fear? All these maidens that are playing everything to get him will not succeed because he has no interest in any of them. Don't you think? And he may never will. Huh? Why? They are just wasting their time on a man that has no feeling for them. Uzoma, please, break it that noise. And what did you say, Justin? Hey! Why give me the look as if you see this as a beauty? <laughs> it's no longer news. I am the one that feeds Chiku the new now. <laughs> as as what? As this woman or what? As whatever you call it, my dear Sarah. <laughs> but Maduka told me that Chukutu will eat no woman's food. Hey, <laughs> wonders shall never. Eh? That was what he told me. Yay! <laughs> and since when did you become interested in matters that concern the great hunter of Uru Nebu? To the extent of discussing him with Madoka? She put him. <laughs> what is this one talking about? Madoka is my friend. And we get to talk about Chukudinibo whenever we talk about his work. Pico! I am not interested in your chukuti. Nekwa. Eh, hey, who's on? If you cook for chukuti, who then cooks for okuti? Okuti. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Pico. Who is okuti? <laughs> Listen. Chukuti cannot go a day without my food. And I know that soon, <laughs> very soon, he will do the needful. <laughs> Dreamer. Ah uh ah. -uh. Are you girls this dumb? Asked. I mean, ask me to marry him, of course. <laughs> That's the needful he will do soon. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 relax. Listen to me. Eh? I cannot wait for that day to come. You know, all the classless maidens that are hoping and waiting on Chukudi will pray for the girl to open and smile at each other.
makes you think Chukudin will marry you? Mm. Because he eats your food. Uh -uh. Eh? You're asking the stupid question that you had answered to already. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. <laughs> 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 She thinks she is. And to, to think that Chukudinibo eats her food but won't at least welcome you to his house makes me wonder. She has the nerves to go with him. Well, I am not bothered. I just feel for the both of you. Chukudinibo won't get him I'm glad you came up with this plan. What I heard at the stream today got me very worried. Hey! Forget about you, Zoma. I want to hear that. She doesn't mean anything. I'm telling you, you know what I'm saying? Just do what I'm doing. But it's their brother. You are sure about this? Are you saying it, I'm very sure. I've been working for Chukudinibo for more than a year now. I know he's scheduled like the back of my arm. But this is dangerous. How did he even come up with such a plan? Jeji, I am mad. The game changer it doesn't work like this. I push it this way. So relax. Eh? Just do what I've said. And if it gets closer to me, you know what that means. Take this. You will get the balance once the plan works out. Ah, some better one. Just do as I told you, eh? You will smile at the end. You are sure about this? Yes, of course. Hey! Okay, uh, come, let me take you there. Uchechi! Uchechi! How could she have gone this morning? She did not tell me. Get yourself into this. I was just passing by you. I was just passing by. Passing by? This is a craft of human <laughs> This must be Chukudi Nibu's trap. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't go Chukudi Nibu. Tell him his trap has got a human being. No. Oh. <laughs> You want to stay here and wait for Chukudu Nibo? This is the craft of Yuri Nobu. And the longer he stays, the deeper the wood. Let me help you. No, 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 If you want to help me, go and fetch him. Go and fetch Chukudu Nibo. If you want to help me, tell him his father's got a human being. No. 
Does it mean I will not get any supplies today? No, oh, that is the reason I stopped over here first. I've already instructed my boys, they will supply you with that supply. But please, keep the money for me until I return. That, 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 that is not a problem at all. But I hope there's no problem. Well, whenever your king sends someone, you never know what he's going to do. No, but at least you will get to meet your people. It is indeed high time. Go in peace. And please extend my greetings to them. Yeah, come on. <laughs> the strong man of Uru Nebo. No bushmeat today. No, he's not going to supply us with that. That's what he did to tell me. This chuku didn't go the only one time this life. Something like that. You know, he is a hunter with touch of excellence. A man of the gods. Unlike many of the hunters in our land here that uh, they always spend the whole night in the bush and they don't see anything to bring back. The gods of this land will always lay animals out from ashes for him to come them down. That's why he's the <laughs> My daughter, you are lucky. Just a trap. Not a poison trap. Like the one others used to take. <laughs> but ensure you do not move around with it. I shall return in another two days. Yeah. Hmm? You see how it is. Okay, take time. Move closer. I shall be going. Hi, Mama, it's hot. Oh, hi. How did you even get yourself into this? I went to the bush to get forage for the goats. That place where Chukudinibo catches wild animals. When did you start getting food for the goats? Is that they almost been like work. Mama, I wanted to help. Have I done anything wrong? I wanted to help and make the boats happy by feeding them with grasses they've not eaten before. And this is what I get. Are you okay? Sorry, huh? Sorry. <laughs> Mama, the worst is that the man that set the stupid trap has not come here to tender an apology. Hi! You are born on me. <laughs> that young man owes you more apology. It's the truth. <laughs> if you take this case to the elders, they will tell you the same thing. Hmm? <laughs> you know the same is hmm? <laughs> don't know what I'm doing. Ada? <laughs> Why are you being defensive, Madoka? I'm not being defensive. What I said is the obvious. What happened to her could have happened to any other person. But it never happened to another person. Hmm? Who goes to that part of the forest where we know how many times Chukudinibo has been attacked by wild animals? I don't care. Not to talk of a medium for that matter. Why? Hmm? Ah, so, what are you insinuating? All I'm insinuating is that we all know how desperate our medians are to get, to get Chukudinibo's attention. <laughs> you can say about uh, other medians, but not to change it. It's different. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> what I said is the obvious. She's not like the other maidens that play their way to get her to the movie. She's different. JT, different. Why are they laughing as if they know something? Within the armor. I'm still waiting for you to tell me why you consider it to be different. <laughs> tell me. So in I, so that is why I decided to come and see you myself in I. And you did well, my son. Thank you, man. And you have shown that you are a wise man. Thank you, man. Uzoma, you heard all that he said. Now tell me, what has he done to offend you? Papa. 
Is that all you can say? What right does Opudili have to report me to you? He has no such right. He is a betrothed. He can come to me when things go wrong. Eh? I will say nothing while he's here. Opudili? No. I shall get back to you. No. Talk to her. Please talk some sense into her. I get that. You and Okudele are as good as married. Eh? You are supposed to be getting married to him. P Papa, what if I tell you I have someone else that is better? Don't be silly, young lady. Eh? He is your betrothed. Eh? What nonsense man that got into your head? Stay before I lose it with you. <laughs> Chuku Dinibo. I'm seeing Chuku Dinibo. Eh? Chuku Dinibo. <laughs> yes, Papa. Maduka, I'm disappointed in you. I'm highly disappointed in you. Sorry, Sorry. For what exactly? For Chukudini for failing to come to me. Or for this painful wound on my leg. You went to the agency yesterday. It's not back yet. Was that our plan? Was that our plan? Didn't you tell me that he would go to the bush yesterday morning? That you have his schedule in the palm of your hand? So I thought. But Chuku Dinibu is a man of few words. He hardly tells anyone about his plans. He didn't tell us that he was going to Unibu. Yeah? Sorry. I do not even know what I was thinking listening to that stupid plan of yours. Hey! No, 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 I see. Yeah, my plan is not actually stupid. It's just unfortunate that it turned out this way. But really, this will bring Chiku to you closer to you. You know what that means. I guess it is bringing him already. You can just see my leg in Boronia now, Bairi. But really, this is the only bad thing about my wonderful plan. But this will help. When he gets to hear about this, he will come to say sorry. And then you use your female antics to finish the rest. You were sure about this. Did you walk? Hey, to walk. I'm very sorry that I came this late. I returned home late yesterday, so I couldn't come. Please, how exactly did this happen? I went to the bush to get forages for my goats. I didn't see your trap. I didn't know it was close by, so I, I stepped on it. <sighs> I'm very sorry. I apologize. In that case, I undertake to foot all the bills, please. Oh, Mba, don't worry, eh? I'm already taking care of that. Then I will do you a refund. Please, let me do this. I beg of you. That is the only way that I can show that I'm sorry for what happened. Please, for what happened. <laughs> um. Well, I, I, would, I would appreciate if you keep visiting until my wound heals. Please. Really? Well, I guess that will not be a problem. 
Thank you so much. Please accept this little token. Thank you. Thank you. Now listen. By the gods, you will be healed soon. You say. I am sorry about this. I will try to visit you. Yes, mother. Why do I have this feeling that all this will plunder? That which the cock pursues even on that way is surely very important. Every other day. Well, to be honest, that's the least I can do. I don't want the people of Osili to have a reason to hate me. Of course, they won't. It is not your fault. Hey, and show me the people. How is that big bush bit of a baby that can trap cock? How is he doing? Don't go down with it. It is not a joke. It is not a joke for real. She's lucky to be alive. It cut is very deep. I mean, she stepped on Ozzy. She could have cut up her leg. What was she doing? What was she doing in the front? I don't understand. Mm. Mm. That's a good round. Ah! It's a good round. Taking over your job in this place. She's my sense. Could you believe I nearly rejected her when she came and applied to work for me? But somehow I, I said, let me be my chance. And she has proven to be the best that happened to my business. Is she? I don't know why you're asking me for myself. What's your problem? But anyway, she's. Um, She's from Aki. Aki! And that's the only thing I know about her. You won't believe it. I hope you enjoyed the meet. I swear by the gods of our land, the best ever! Now I know. I don't accept it. You promised to talk to her for me. Huh? I tried all I could. But her mind is already made up. Made up? Well, she's my betrothed. And you know it now. I suggest. You go and look at the new legend to marry. Also, my my daughter has made it clear that she will not marry you. Mm. So it's because of Chukudu. Oh, is that the reason? You even know about him? Yes, I do. She has been seen several times taking food to him. Ah, oh, you already know. What else are you still fighting for? Eh? Can you compete with a man like Chukudu? I don't think so. My son, save your precious time and look for another man. My daughter Ozoma has been taken. No, this is not fair. This is not fair. It's not fair. My daughter a choice to do a my daughter made the right choice. Did you 
Do you see how you make it easy? <laughs> now that he has heard from me, I'm sure he will never disturb me again. If he does, mm -hmm. I will show you the other side of it. <laughs> I will prepare something special. You know what? They know that he's a nice man. So they want to take advantage of that. Why are they doing that? Him, what baffles me is that they all act as if they would die if he fails to notice them. Hmm, notice. Notice is understatement. See, this, this lady is desperate to have him marry them. You know I spend all my day at his house. So I know everything that is going on there. Obi, if you ask me, I guess he's enjoying all the attentions. Yes. If not, you will find a way to tell them off. You know what I'm about to do? He's a gentleman. He tries to tell them off, but they won't get it. Hmm? But tell me, does he, does he not have anyone in his life? I mean, who is he really interested in? I mean, does he not have anyone in his life? Because I know he's a hardworking man and he should have someone in his life. Don't forget about that. As far as I know, Chibuti Nubu has no one. Hey. Yes. Hey. Yes. Well, you can vouch for him. Hey. 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 What do people do in the bush? I went to get some forages for my goats. In that part of the forest? Now what sort of question is that? Sorry. Um, Zaram, I do not like such questions, please. Sorry. Oops, oops, oops. Look. <laughs> Greetings, beautiful ladies. Greetings, the best among all men. Please come and see it. Um, Zopata. Don't you think as the host I should be the one to offer him a seat? Oh, come on, Uchi. Remember that you are incapacitated at the moment. Huh? <laughs> Allow me to do this. Oh, give me my dear, please. Come and see it. Let me still let me get you a seat. Sorry. Thank you very much. How do you feel today? I feel better today. Thank God. Thank you, God. Here. I brought this for you. I have to be on my way now. Okay. Nguano. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Hey. Okay. Me too. Okay. Hey, I'm going to the stream, eh? Okay. I want to go and fetch water. Don't worry, I'll come back, eh? Okay. 
Okay, merci. Thank you so much. In enough by the gods. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I have always known that you changed is very cool. But my dear, this one beats you. When I looked at her, I knew she was up to something. Exactly. I feel that the is using this accident to get closer to Jubilee. He practically visits her every other day. Who changes just like a rat. By the time I make out time for her, she will run away from this office. No. Yes. What more could be more important still? That's your stupid attitude back then. What was that for me? Eh? 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 Greatest is the best among all men in your city. Ah! Yeah. Look at this one. Look at this one. What's your problem? No, I can't get you. What's your problem? What is wrong with what I told you? Ask him to see them. What is the problem? Must you say that he's the best among all men? My dear, you are simply jealous. Yes, you are jealous because I am older. I'm smarter. And you put the notice that too. And so you're jealous. Me? Jealous? <laughs> when I was the one that got him a seat. <laughs> Oh, wait. What is who changed you? What could be happening between her and Chukuchi at the moment? Why did I even leave? Should I go back? So. <laughs> Yamaka, so this is true. Mm -hmm. You're back already. Oh, my greeting. Hold that your useless greetings to yourself. Or do we? So this is what you have turned my daughter into. About who was it? Mama, Mama, what's the problem? Why, why, why are you talking to him like this? Or do we and I we 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 we're just discussing and nothing more. Let's take him. Yamaka. So you have decided to turn yourself into a maiden that stands under a tree, discussing useless things with useless men. Do you know how many people that told me that they saw my daughter under a tree, discussing with this useless son of no body? Mama, shut up! Amaka, I don't want you to say a word. Before I close my eyes and open them, let me do that to her. Run to the house. Put my mind. Okay, get out. Get out. Get out. And you, or the way, or whatever you call yourself. I don't want to have this discussion with you again. Stay away from my daughter. I warn you for the last time. Mama, you just called me a son of nobody. I you know that is not fair. Look at. Who is talking of fairness? What, what you are doing to my daughter is it fair? And I'm not joking. But then, ma. 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 I'm sorry. Ma. I love your daughter so much. I love her. Okay. I promise you, I'll go and get that money and I'll come and pay her by price. Hey! Haru! To see a what? May the court for me. If it is a court. I reject it. You marry my only daughter. Or the way I am warning you for the last time. Or the way stay away from my daughter. If you think 
and I get you close to my daughter again. You won't be. This is your concept, Nico. You're not happy, and I want to marry your daughter. I wanted to ignore you, but I've seen that I cannot. Let me tell you, the people that carve mortars in this village are just you. And they change a lot of money to carve one. I'm you. Don't destroy my choice mortar. Nobody's talking about Amaka and how she feels. This, this useless mortar has become the choice now. Adam what is there? I am your mother. Talk to me. Mom, what troubles you? Mama, don't act as if you don't know already. You know, the way you spoke to Odukwe today. It's very, very bad. Very, very bad. You know Odukwe is a nice man. And he meant well for me. Why calling him names? <laughs> hey! So, this is all about Odukwe, eh? It's not as if I hate him that way. I don't hate him. But I hate the fact that he is blocking you from getting a worthy suitor. Mama, what is suitor you say? My daughter, it's not as if I hate Odukwe. But going closer to Odukwe will prevent worthy suitors. Right suitors, my daughter. Coming to ask for your hand in marriage. So, I think we need to understand ourselves this night too. Because me, I don't know what you mean by worthy or the right suitor. As far as I'm concerned, Odukwe is as good as my husband. And very, very soon, he will be coming with his people to see you and Papa. Ask for my hand in marriage. Shut up. You're talking about nonsense. Mommy, I've said my own no. <laughs> Amaka, I never wanted to push this so hard. But I've seen that you want me to do that. There is something I will tell you in this night that you have to sleep over. The first of all, let us finish cooking. Because very soon your father will come asking for his night food. I've said my own. <laughs> what do you know about that? Will you stop doing that? Something must be wrong somewhere. Odoguna Gogo told me that Chukutinbo only needs to eat my food five times. And then he will fall head over heels in love with me. Yes, that is what he told me. I have even lost count of the number of times that I have taken my food to him. Yet, nothing has changed. Is there something that I'm not doing well? <laughs> what is happening? Choko Dinibo, why are you not loving me yet? Chokube, why don't you understand? We can be over. Eh? Why are you treating me like this? What have I done to deserve this? Wait, Wamadi. What did I hear you say? That we can't be over. What nonsense link of salt and oil are you bringing to us? Please tell me, who are the we? We now, you and I. Wamadi, I'm lobby. And you, the bottle of food. Hold it! Just hold it there. Come on, Madi. Have you been visiting Wombos Bar lately? I don't even drink my wine. I only go there to eat bush meat. Then something worse is wrong with you. Me? 
why would you ever think there is us or there is ever going to be us? As in you and you and I. But I know I know. nothing. Wamadi, I am not your type. Please go look for all those small, small girls that have been shielded by a poor man's game with cheap beats or anklets. Shekube is meant for the mighty men that are blessed by the gods. Shekube, that is me! I am blessed by the gods. Now, let me make it clearer to you. I am seeing Shekube Nigo, the wealthy man. You know how powerful he is. And you must not be seen as acting the woman for your own good. Uh, wait, wait! Your workers are not here today. They've already closed for the day. You don't know how happy I am to be here with just you. Those men know how to make one feel uncomfortable. You have absolutely no reason to be uncomfortable when my men are around. I know. Just that I'm enjoying this private time with you. Greetings, Chiku Jinibu. Which is enough. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Mobo sent me to collect the meat he ordered for. Oh yes, that's that's true. Let me get it. Be back. He will hear. Thank you. You should be preparing to leave. I have somewhere to go to. What I am talking about. Or the way is a servant. Why settle for the servant where you can go for the master? You know the way does not deserve all this treatment. He doesn't deserve it. And you? You deserve to be married to that useless man that called himself for the way. Let me tell you. Odukwe is lazy. In fact, he is stupid. Who knows what would have become of him if not that Tupu Dunibo employed him? Uh, uh, yes. See, my dear. I come to myself as very lucky to have married your father. Not minding that, I was able to give him just one child. Just you. No male son, no other female child added to you. He still maintains her marriage. 
he refused to get married to another woman. Because of all this, your father needs to be made proud by the only child that he has been living for. You know I love you so much. And I will do anything to you to make this a happen. Mm -hmm. My daughter, now do it. Make your father happy. Make us proud of you. is to make my father know that having a female child is not a cause. But how do I go about what my mother said? All is well. You mean all is well and you were practically lost when I came here? Chikube, I'm fine. Do you know I practically screamed your name before you noticed I'm here? What were you thinking? I wasn't thinking about anything. It's just that I was lost in thoughts. But trust me, Chikube, she do not want to know what I was thinking about. Let's forget about that. I'm fine, okay? I'm not fine now. What is it? It all started with that useless one, Madi. Fooling me about. Wait. Chekube. You not call one Madi useless? When it's, did this happen? It's even worse than that. Do you know all the bad luck I faced today at Chikudinobu's house was because of him? Wait a minute. You mean you now go to Chukudinebo's house? Again? Did I tell you I was ever going to stop going to his house? But you... Ah, wait. So you openly go to see Chukudinebo? That's not the issue, Amaka. Do you know I almost got him today? But that useless girl that works at that bar came in and interrupted us. Hmm. You did? I'm surprised you did. I never had any reason to look at that girl. But I hate her now. Where is she even from? See, listen. It will do you good if you brief me on what happened. Why do you hate the poor girl so much? Why? Don't worry. I will just go to my house and think of what to do. Please greet in for me. Hmm? I'm not happy the way you're staring at me. You're not just a native doctor. You're also a seer. And you came highly recommended. Why are you looking at me as if you don't know why I'm here? You're worried because the charm I gave to you did not work. <sighs> Thank the gods that you know. You praise your charms to high heavens. Why is it not working? Why? <laughs> Are you sure that you did exactly as I told you? I did everything exactly the way you instructed. A small quantity of the portion in each meal that he eats. That's exactly what I've been doing. Why are you looking 
looking at me like that? You're scaring me with that look. Why does he eat my food? And yet, nothing is happening. <laughs> Dragging the cow to the river is not the same as making the cow to drink from the river. What does that mean? You took the food of which you dropped my powerful charm to him. How are you sure that he ate from the food? How are you sure? Find out. I do not want to be ambitious. You know from the deepest parts of your heart that I'm doing my best. I've heard you say this before. Maybe you have to explain to me now. What do you mean by that? If you're asking, do you just. It's nothing really, it's, it's just that I had to. Uh, 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 I want! Do you know what? Please, I need to be left to go. Please! And now! to be left alone. Is that difficult for you to understand? Please! Stay alone! Stay alone! So then, hmm? all of you will not be there tomorrow? No. We are resuming there after tomorrow. He, he, he told us to go and rest. Really? Yes. Hmm. Chukudinibo is such a good man. I mean, who else would be this considerate? He asked us to take a day off. Not only to go and rest, but to spend time with our loved ones. So, tomorrow will be for you and I. Um, me? Yes. Um, see you then. I was just going to say it's a bad timing. 
Yes, um, my mother said I'll be going to see my grandmom with her tomorrow. No, I have made plans to take you to Ubuchelebu. You know I've been promising you that. I know you have, Obin. I know. But like I said, it's a bad timing. See, let's reschedule this. You know how tough my mother can be. And if I don't go with her, she will skin me alive. Why? Why must it be now? Why must it be now? I, I was imagining how our tomorrow will be. Obin, you worry a lot. Hmm? You worry a lot. Okay, see. As soon as I come back, I'll come to your place first. And we'll spend all the time we need together. Promise. I promise. Cheer up. I'm not going there to live forever. I'm just going to visit. <laughs> Cheer up now. I'm not spoiling it. Cheer up. You're the only reasonable man that works for Chukudi. So I have no one else to ask. I don't understand why you wish to know if Chukudinibo eats your food or not. It will cost you nothing if you tell me. He does not eat it, right? What does this witch want to hear? If I tell her that Chukudinibo does not eat her food, then she might stop bringing it. Tell her what she wants to hear and let the food keep going. Anna Quincy, what are you thinking? I don't know why you ask. But the truth is that Chukujinibo likes eating your food. In fact, he always looks forward to it. He looks forward to eating my food. That means he's beginning to love me. But. How come he does not show it in his actions? I said it. This girl must be a witch. Huh? Look, look at how she just smiled at me and walked off without saying anything. Hey, are we even safe eating her food? Huh? So far, so good. No one has died yet. So, let the eating continue. Oh, what do you do? Young way. You do not know. Such a caring and nice man. I'm only keeping to my word. I promise to continue to care for you and take care of you until your wound is completely healed. Thank you. Thank you so much. Anyway, I um, have to get going. My workers are off duty today, so I have a lot to do. I'm not strong enough, but I've come to help. I'll see you either tomorrow or the day after. Take care. We keep getting closer every day. Soon, all he will be doing is think about me. I am getting there gradually. The maidens will know that I am the wisest and smartest. Is, is everything okay? About what? Because of the I am a man who makes his living from the wild. Countless times I have come face to face with deadly beasts who were supposed to kill me, but I came out alive. Why? Because my hands are clean. So on that note, I can tell you that you can so trust me. I'm not going to 
Do not be silly. Me, of course. See, Amaka, you're my good friend. But that does not give you the right to control my life. Listen, Chikube, do not misunderstand me. I am not trying to control your life. That is what you're doing. I want him the same way you want to do Kwe. Why are you keen on discouraging me? I am not discouraging you. I only want you to conduct yourself like a lady. You should not be chasing after Chukwu Dinobola like that. I am not chasing after him. I only went to help him do his chores. Why? Because you love him, right? <laughs> you should grow up. Chikube, you should grow up. No man will love you for making yourself available and check. You should stop this now. I mean now. Thank you, ma. But sorry, I will not stop. I will continue doing what I have to do till I get him. I don't normally do this, but I will eat your food only because you have prepared it before me. Hmm. Something tells me you've not been eating things. But I have a craft of women of the city. But I came to show you that I'm different from others. My grandmom taught me everything, and my mother continued from where she starts. There is absolutely no need for all this lecture. The aroma of your food is very inviting. I have already accepted that I will eat it. Okay. There is a pot buried at the back of the house. Get me water from there so that I may wash my hands. Okay. Thank you. Easy. Ah, Easy. 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 I greet you. How are you? Fine, sir. Uh, what are you doing here? I thought I told you to take the day off. Uh, you see, uh, um, my plans to spend time with my woman did not work out. Please, sit. Okay, sir. <laughs> Easy. Yeah. Easy, this food is delicious. Ah, yeah. it looks, it looks it. Don't worry, we'll eat now. Uh, mm -hmm. Get some water to wash. Amaka! Amaka, what are you doing here? Oh, Amaka came around to help me do some chores and also she, she made this, she made this food. She did. Let's, let's eat, wash your hands, let's eat. Amaka, please, water. Amaka! Amaka, is this your grandmother's place you told me you would be going to? Sorry, do you... Do you two know each other? Um, no. I, I, yes. Yes, yes. Disappointed. Disappointed. <laughs> Amaka, you know what the way? Yes. <laughs> The only thing I heard you say here was that you went to Chukudunibo's house. Why should we make you cry? What did you hear when I, when I told you that Chukui met me there? He was very angry. He was mad at me. I don't know how to fix him. Don't make me call you stupid. In fact, Amaka, you are stupid. How, 
to my beautiful daughter. Be thinking of how to go and talk to that stupid old <laughs> My daughter, I said it before, that that makes it easier for us. He should be happy that he saw you with Chukwu Dinibo. At least he will know that my daughter is thinking bigger. But it's not fair. It's not fair, you know it. You know what has come over me? What was I even thinking? I was thinking going to Chukunimo's house. I'm so ashamed of myself. I'm so ashamed of myself. I can see that you are non stupid. That you lost, totally lost sense of reasoning. I don't, I don't, I don't know what that good for nothing man has done to my daughter. Well, let me From now onwards, I forbid you from seeing that stupid man. You will not see him again. Unless you want me to involve your father into this matter. You know the implication. If he comes into this matter. What is this issue that is eating you up? Mama, it's Chukudini. What about him? Or has his trap caught another maiden? Have you not noticed he does not come here anymore? Yeah, have you? It's true. Why? I don't know, Mama. I'm worried. He promised he will keep visiting until my wound heals. Don't worry yourself. Hmm? But I, I think you should go and see him. I mean, what matters is that you've built a relationship with him. Exactly what I do not want to do, Mama. I do not want to carry myself to him. I don't want to be like every other maiden. I want him to come to me. You have to calm down and handle this like a man. <sighs> That is exactly what I want to do. But how am I supposed to do that? Yes, we are talking about your woman. At the same time, your master. All you need to do is just get back to the work, then have a chat with Chukudinibu. That is exactly what I don't want to do. I, don't say that again, please. Don't say that again, please. I, I, I can't. Uh, welcome. I asked around and I was told that you are here. Probably trying to invest this noble man with your stupidity and laziness. Is it not clear that that is what you are trying to do? Um, ne, we don't mean to get you angry. We're actually discussing about your daughter. Ah, you see, my daughter, discussing what? Mwankere, don't force me to lose the respect I have for you. Are you Odukwe? What was the last thing I discussed with you? Tell me! Last discussion. No, I can't remember. Hey! Uburete! It's in Mwoke. How can you remember? The last time I saw you, under the tree, at the village square, discussing with my daughter, I want you to stay clear from my daughter, to just carry this your poor self away from my daughter. Did I not warn you? Did I not warn you? And what is this, this useless discussion that you are having here with your friend about my daughter? Ne, these two people, they love themselves. Shut up! What do you know about love? Thy love. Odukwe? I've told you several times that my daughter will not marry a loser like you. My name is Odukwe. I am not a loser. But you know, I'm still talking. Ne, what you're doing is not fair. The way you're handling this thing is not fair. Look at you. Who is talking about fairness? What Odukwe is doing to my daughter? Is it fair? Odukwe, listen and listen good. Let me tell you, my daughter is already in love with Chukudunibo. And I 
I will not sit and watch you destroy it. Next time, I see you close to my daughter. Odukwe, Odukwe, listen very well. Oh. Stay clear from my daughter. This is the last warning. Listen, Adukwe, we've seen this type of resistance a thousand times, over and over. If you love this girl, go for her. Jacobi, why are you talking to me like this, Jacobi? Why? Don't give me that look. Look at you, Amaka. No wonder they say pretenders do the worst. You were trying to discourage me from seeing Chukudi Lupo just because of your own interest. Chukudi, you do not understand. That's not how it happened. Oh, really? Yes. Well, tell me. Oh, no. I know. You got the information that this man will be going to his house today. Then you sneaked in. Automatically became his house help. By sweeping and cooking for him. Well, I can see you've drawn your conclusion. But since you do not want to hear my own part of the story, I don't think I have any business standing here with you. Go! Accuse me. Go with your fake self! You would have told me you wanted him, I would have told you the easier way to get him! What gave you the ability to, to come into my compound and shout? Have you gone crazy? This is it not your pretender of a daughter? She said I was being cheap for abandoning all the men that was coming my way and chasing after him. No, and then she does the worst. So you're still talking? Even your mother, maybe your mother cannot talk back at me. Oh, you're still talking? You're still talking? Yeah, Amaka? Amaka? Mama? Can you imagine how useless this thing you call your friend is? Next time, I warn you to stay clear from this kind of useless thing. You listen to your mother. You, you listen to me. No, 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 Calm down. Let's calm down and handle this matter like men. My brothers, I personally called for this meeting. I, Okudu. We can no longer pretend as if all is well and what, what belongs to us being given to them. Baba, oh, no. Baba, it can't happen in this If time. a snake does not show what makes it a snake, children will use it to tie firewood. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Imagine Tegube, my own Tegube, hey. calling me names. Just because of Chukudi Nibo. Imagine. Ban. Ban. This nonsense must be stopped. Ban. Stop. Yes. Yes. Even the maidens that are not running after him expect every man in Osili to be like Chukudi Nibo before he will be considered for marriage, which is not supposed to be so. Yes. yes. Ndi Jeku, you are right. You are right. That Chukudi Nibo, man of Unu Nibo, we must get him down. Yes. yes. We must get rid of him. Yes. 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 Listen to me. Let all of us calm down. Hi. Oh. All right. Let all of us do what? Calm down. Why should we kill Chukudini? Because he is taking what belongs to us. Yes. Exactly. Bam. And he makes us appear as fools in our own land. Imagine. Yes. Are we fools? Imagine. No. Fools. We are not fools. Right. Listen, let me tell you. Has it been heard that Chukudini took advantage of any of these medals? Mm. They threw themselves at him. Hey. <laughs> Listen, let me tell you. Whether you want to believe it or not, Chukudini is a very noble man. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. is a very noble man. Okay. Our medics are to be blamed for all this. Killing Chukudinibo will be grossly unjust. And gods of Urunobo, even our own gods, will never spare Tell any of us. Let them know. Tell them. He will not spare any of us. Let them not spare us. He deserves to die. Let them not spare us. You are really right. Ah. 
our mind is made up. And we yes. must do it. And we must do it. We must do it. I will do it. I can't believe this. I don't need any other confirmation. Who's Oma is a witch? Hi. I can't believe I've been eating her food. I will never eat her food again. <laughs> Why? Why will you not eat her food again? Did I make a mistake by telling you? Anakwenze, are you going to remain a fool all your life? When someone is keen on knowing whether her food is being eaten or not, that spells doom. Hi! I can't believe I've been eating her food though. Lele, Lele, Lele. Lele. Ah. Oh, you have vomited. Go ahead and vomit it. We have been eating her food all this while. At least no one has died. Huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at her. Are you not getting fatter? Forget this. That girl is a witch. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. When you see, when you see, do the Any problem? I thought he was a noble man. But I was wrong. Chukwini will say very noble man. Even his enemies do give it to him that he's a man from another world. When it comes to decency and self-control. See, tomorrow, I will still desire him. You have no shame, do you? I mean, why do you still desire a man who does not want you? I, I do not understand that. Why? I might be shameless, Uche. But definitely not like some people who hide their feelings and go about doing no manner of stupid things just to get a man's attention. Are we still talking about the same thing? Hmm? Chukudinibo promised he would always come visit him until my wound heals. He just stopped coming. No. He is not noble. And he's not a decent man. He's not a man of his words. Wow. Boy, you never can tell. Maybe, just maybe, he discovered that your wound is already healed. Don't you think so? Uchechi, please do not make me hate you. Do not make me hate you. You know what, Uchechi? You are very pathetic. To think that you risked your life with that trap just to get your good neighbor's attention. Uh-uh. Oh, resident good dear, to that extent. Yet, you abuse us who show our feelings to him openly. Now tell me, Uche, who is the stupid one? Who? To fear Pwage. Wincy, please, hold on. You mean they had a meeting where they planned to kill you? How come I didn't hear about this? Were well, you deaf when he said that the young man that, that, that just left came with that information? Were well, you deaf? But, but why? Why, you see? You've never forced any maiden to visit you here. He doesn't even have interest in any of them. And to think that Odukwe, Odukwe and Kaiwa, who knows how all these useless maidens Throw themselves about in this place was part of that meeting. It's what I can't understand. Oh, do we? Hi! So, if not that one guinea spoke in my favor, I'll probably be dead by now. Onishi, I think 
It is time you do something. It is high time you put a stop to all this rubbish. This is a grand deal, also. Again, take all these medians. Yes. Chicken Lingo, great things. <laughs> I, I have something very, very important to discuss with you. Not today, Uzabuta. Not today. Is he okay? You had him, not today. Not ever! Come to your father! What is wrong with all of you? Go! 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 One down. And others will continue to be taken care of. We will sort them out one by one. But, but really, all those men are actually very, very crazy. Hey. 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 I can't accept this. Why is that? This is just a token to show my appreciation, my girl. You saved my life. I heard all that happened and how you spoke on my behalf. Um, what I did was the right thing. I wasn't even thinking about you when I spoke to the men. Fair. But rejecting this will not make me feel any better. Please. It's a token from my heart. Please accept. Thank you very much. I was on my way to check my traps. So I'll just get going now. Thank you. And Chukudinibo. You are really a nice man. May the gods of our land be with you. Do. Because of his goodness, gods of our land will always give him animal to kill in the same forest we hunt without success. It really pays to be good. Nsopota really speaks to me about her plans. She practically avoids me now. I need to know every move she's making. And <laughs> That one? I don't even know where to place her. I need help. I need to win Chukudinewo once and for all. I beg your pardon. What do you mean by that? Chalu, 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 can't help you. Zaram, are you possibly calling me a witch? Oh, yes. Where did you emerge from first? I should be the one to ask you that. Zaram, what are you doing in this lonely corner? In the dark, all alone. Are you not the witch here about to practice your witchcraft? I hate him so much. And as his woman, please stay away from me. Before I start seeing you in the same light, stay away from you, Zomao. Wait. 
Um, you're getting me all confused here. What, what do you mean by that? Oh. Why are you now pretending as if you've not heard what Okudili planned to do? Ozama, stay clear away from me. Zaram! Zaram! Zaram, wait, wait, wait! What has he done? Have you no shame, Okudili? Have you no shame? If your woman leaves you for another man, what do you do? Try to kill him? A wise man will try to become what that man, his woman, prefers is. Well, because you're not man enough, you had a meeting and tried to kill an innocent man. He is not innocent. He stole you away from me. Hi! Okudili, how did I ever meet you? How? So if another man stole your woman, all you can do is kill him. Eh? What does that make you? A man or a complete heartless fool? Uzama, you are insulting me. You are insulting me and I'm letting it go because I love you. You and I know no other maiden can talk to me the way you're talking to me right now. Eh? Eh? What will you do? What will you do? Uzama. Beat me up. Uzama. Oh, yeah, beat me up. Okay. Beat me Uzama. up now. Oh, God, you beat me now. Look at me. Beat me. I know you won't be able to do that. You don't have the nerves. You don't have the strength, weak man. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. If you don't have better things to do with your life, I do. And it certainly does not involve you. Stay away from me. Have a matter. Leave me. I don't want. Ah. Or by force. Nonsense. I have plans for my life. Yeah? And I love you. I don't want. Is it by force? Have a matter. What is it? Who's my I love you? I don't know what you're still standing here for. I have told you we don't sell on credit. Eh? Oh, oh, are you, are you deaf? Oil, oil and maybe she's deaf already. Yeah. So how do I go back to Mobo without meat? How did he send you here without money? Go back to him and ask him how he expects you could enable to pay us if he decides to sell to him on credit. I thought you already discussed that with Chukwu <laughs> I said we don't sell meat on credit. Eh? You think it's easy to go into that bush and shoot animal? Eh? If you want to eat me, tell me I'll give you a gator. Go away from here, Biko. Get out. Oh, but does he give you a drink or credit? Nonsense. I said go! Idiot. No, I just met the two men that work for him. Those fools. But Shuku the baby was supposed to have told them before leaving. They didn't give me. They even insulted me in the process. Let me go and wash the dishes. Remember, I'm still going to see my mother later today. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. I I think the best thing for me to do is to go and see Shukudi by myself. Okay. What are you doing? Are you But you already told us to stop selling on credit. I am very, very sure that I did not mention Wobo's name when I said what I said. I'm sure of that. Mobo always pays his debts. Anyway, I'll have to go and see him. Hey, Mani Maruma. Greetings. Greetings, Chukudinibo. Greetings, Uchichi. What do you want? 
One nobleman promised he would always come visit him until the wound I got from his animal trap heals. But he stopped coming, leaving me worried and sad. So tell me, why will a noble man do that to a noble maiden? That is why I'm here. I came to find out why. Why did you stop coming? Why did you abandon me? Let us see why. The noble man stopped visiting because your wound is completely healed. So now do you see that the noble man fulfilled his promise? What do you want from me, Chichi? What exactly do you want? Please, please. I can't explain. You had all this planned out, didn't you? Now what I want to know is, did you get yourself caught in my trap? Accidentally? Or intentionally? It's difficult for you to answer, isn't it? It's hard. I understand. What I do not understand is why any right-thinking human being with a sane mind will subject him or herself to this kind of risk. Why? Do you know how worried I was when I heard that my trap caught you? Chibodinibo, please, I'm sorry. Please, I, I can explain. Please. I have to be somewhere right now. Please, leave. Go and take care of yourself. Chukudinimo, please. I'm very sorry about this. I'm sure it's just an almost very embarrassed. My problem is, why must those men behave like that? Does it mean they don't know how we do this business? Forgive them. My apologies. Can you please call each other for me so that I will address my person? Each other has got that key to see that with me. I can. Is that where she's from? She must be a very hard working girl. I had to come all the way from Akihi to work here. She said she has a lot of responsibilities working for her back home. And that she needed to work so hard in order to take care of those responsibilities. Maiden spoke this way. And Maiden is talking about taking care of responsibilities. It sounds very strange, doesn't it? But that's such a zona for you. It is very different. Very calm. Very hardworking. Very humble. I sincerely believe that if she continues like this, that will be good place. Uchechi, you cannot blame me for your foolishness. You call me foolish. Wasn't that your plan? How? How did Chikudinibu get to know about this? 
How? Oh, that question should be directed to you. How did he find out? You are asking me. You are asking me, Churchy. <laughs> anyway, that's not why I'm here. I'm here to give you a message. You must have heard how the young men of Osili planned to kill Chukudinibu because of the foolishness of you maidens. What? Huh? You've not heard? Anyway, you heard that from me. Hmm? As a result of that, Chikudinibu has decided not to have anything to do with any of you maidens. So I want you to please stay away from him for now. I even say, in fact, forever, stay away from him. I'm done. What's the game? See, Uchechi, I don't have this time. My mission with you is finished. Good night. Goodbye. You took the food of which you dropped my powerful charm to him. How are you sure that he ate from the food? How are you sure? Find that how. Despite all the money I spent on you, I still did not get him. There must be something else I must do. Oh. Are you okay? Who are you discussing with? Huh? Uh, no one, Papa. Uh, nobody. I must go to bed. Made it daybreak. Why would he want to sleep? I don't have any idea, but he was here yesterday to apologize for how he spent his bed. But you weren't here. Why would he do that? Was he not the one that gave the orders for his men to do so? No, Mr. Zona, the order he gave was not for us. He gave the order actually for the, some, some of the people in this kingdom that will not pay for what they owe. His men misunderstood everything. Oh, uh, well, he already met you. That's enough apology. Oh, what does he want? Does he want to speak with me directly? Maybe. That doesn't make sense to me. You are the boss. And he has apologized. From the way you sound, it sounds as if you accepted the apology. So let's... Well, actually, and I am not going to force you into anything. If you have decided not to go, no problem. So how are your people? They're fine. They sense their meetings. You're welcome, my dear. Thank you. I see there's a lot for me to do. I need to get to work. Okay. Useless girl that cannot listen to what her mother is telling her. Mama, leave me alone. I will not leave you alone. I am your mother. I will not sit and watch you waste away. No matter what you're pushing me to do, is what we waste. How can I be chasing after you? My who does not even know that I exist. All because he's a promising son in me. And what will you be doing? Hanging around one useless fool, one good for nothing boy that cannot even take care of you. Talk more of coming to take care of your parents. Mama, all I see in this case is that you're being selfish. You only think about yourself. You don't think about the next person. You only think about yourself. My child, I am thinking about you, my child. 
You deserve a good man. A man that can take care of you. Look at how beautiful you are. From head to toe. This man we are talking about is good for nothing. He cannot take good care of you. I even heard that he has lost the job that he took. Yes, he has. He has lost it. Thanks to you, Mama. He lost that job because he saw me with you put in it. Amaka. Last time. If I see you near that stupid man, I will crush you. Oh, who does you? Mama, let me tell you. Mama, see, let me tell you. You will not stand on my way. You will not stand on my way. I know you're not his God. You will not stand on my way. You will not stand on my way. You won't. Who is talking? Crawfish. Era, I will not stand on your way. I will stand on your way. Let me tell you, Amaka. If I see you near that fool again, I will produce you. I will tell you that I am your mother. Try me. Yes, what have you come here to do? So, Peter, my only friend in your city. My only friend? Who is your only friend? Please don't patronize me, please. But that is true. You are my only true friend. What have I done wrong? Did you come here to question me? So, Peter, what have I done wrong? Or is it because of Chuku Dinibo? Chuku Dinibo? <laughs> do I have to fight you because of him? You and I know who the loser will eventually be. <laughs> anyway, one after the other, all my competitors will be going down. Just like your fake friend Uchechi. Has she gone down? How do you mean? What happened to her? You mean you don't know? You mean you don't know that Uchechi supposedly trapped herself just to get Chuku Dinibo's attention? Oh, it's a lie. Uchechi doesn't want Chuku Dinibo. She could not have done that. Anyway, when you're done arguing and you want to hear me, how will you? Please, I'd like to have a word with you. Now? I need to get this to Mubu as soon as possible. I'm aware of that. But I promise I won't take much of your time. The meaning of this. Are you okay? <laughs> My dear, there are a lot of families that cannot boast of a day's meal, yet you waste food on a man. Not just a man, no. A man that will not even have her time at all. Now tell me. Is that not foolishness? <clears throat> what some worthless maidens do to get a man's attention? Food cannot get
You should have come anyway, even if you felt that there was no need. I don't have to come all the way for you to apologize. You already did that, and I think that's what matters. He's the boss or not me. I did not call you here for apologies. It is a, as you know, I am a man of very few words. I do not speak very much. What I'm about to tell you, I have given great thought to. And I want you to take it very, very serious. Serious? I like you. I want to court you. And I want to marry you. You didn't just say that, did you? I've been observing you since you started working for Mobile. You are different. You have all the qualities I want in a woman. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Why have you done this to me? <laughs> so what is wrong? Why do you cry? You are the reason why I cry, Chukudi. Why have you decided to punish me like this? What have I not done to show that I love and care for you? What? You love me since, since when? Since I started showing you I care for you. I cooked and brought to you, right? Did you even eat my food? Did you eat okay, my food? Calm down. Calm down, Uzama. Please. Mm -hmm. Just calm down. What exactly is this about? Is it about the food? Or the fact that you love it? Help! Oh. Please, just show me some love. Show me some love. Even if it's small, I will manage it because my fellow maidens, they laugh at me. They laugh at me because of no how much I love you. You refuse to love me back. Show me small love. Eh? No, no, just no, no, stop it. Just small, I will manage yourself. it. Just love me. Please. Just leave me. Just stop it. 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 Stop Wangene, after he heard about the plan to kill him, I don't think he will ever want to see me in his, in his house again. No, no, listen. I don't think he's that kind of person. Just go back to him, apologize to him, then let's see what happens next. Huh? Anyway, that is part of why I called you. Um, just give me one minute. I'll be right back. What? Wangene, is this why you call me to your house? Eh, Wangene? So because of her? Okay, I'm I'm truly sorry. I've hurt you so much. I was, I was so foolish. Duke, please, I beg of you, forgive me. I love you so much. You're all I want. You're my life. Amaka, you are a disgrace. <laughs> and I will never have anything to do with you again. Go ahead. Go ahead and get yourself a wedding man that will make your mother proud. No, no. no. Oh, please, she's just a woman. Just forgive her, please. <laughs> her mother called me a son of nobody. I love you, honey, mm -hmm. please. I love you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I love you so much. I'm sorry. Why did you leave like that? We were in the middle of an important discussion. I had to let you settle with your woman. My woman? Who told you she's my woman? It was obvious. She loves you. Okay. Um, listen up, Eche. She is not my woman, okay? I do not have any woman. You 
You're the one I want to make my woman. Believe me. Why me? Chukwu Dinibo, you command respect. You're a noble man. You command respect from the Lord, the High and the Mighty in this village. You deserve a noble maiden. Someone of equal status as yours and not me. I'm just a stranger in this land. I've just come to make money to sustain my family. I am nothing. Stop it. Just I... stop it. Please. Stop. You're much bigger than you think of yourself. I am also a stranger here. Yes, I'm a visitor, so that makes the both of us. I want you. Don't turn me down. Please. I respect you a lot. And I beg you to respect my decision. I cannot be with you. finally decided to give love a chance. The one that I love decided to turn me down. <clears throat> when you see, pardon me, I want to say something. Go ahead, Anna Quenza. We all know how much our maidens want to be with you. Why don't you choose any one of them I forget about that uh, HS on her. True, Nisi. She's not even worthy of your love. She's one worthless maiden that serves pan wine at the bar. I know, Nisi. I am sure you're not even aware. That maiden, HS on she sleeps around with different men. Wow. Go <laughs> for money. Go see more money. This stuff is everywhere now. Haven't you heard? <laughs> but wine has a way of triggering the sex all the men. Once they drink themselves to stupor, they calm down their bodies with that classless, useless etches on them. <laughs> Quincy, did somebody lay a curse on your tongue? What kind of stupid question is that? I see no other reason why you say such a thing in the presence of Onisi about the maiden that you know that he loves. If not that someone placed a curse on your tongue. Yukumo is everywhere. Yukumo is everywhere. Omuko, I am even planning to use my extra cash to go to her. You will give me something now. Okay, Zaya. Okay, okay, I'm going to Hey, if you continue like this, I assure you, you lose this your job. And she refused to accept my proposal. It's not the issue here. There is something else that bothers me greatly. Talk to me, I'm listening. Oh, well, before I made my intentions known to HSA, I came to you as a man to another man and I asked you about her and you confirmed to me that she has no spots. That is the truth. She has no spots. Why did you not tell me that she is wearing one? I beg your pardon? How could you say a thing like that? I mean, how could you? People think that she sleeps with the men that patronize you, 
for me. May Amadio has struck those that say that to me. May Amadio has struck them. This is my problem in this land. How could people wake up and decide to spoil the names of other people? How? There is something I never told anyone in this land. But I'm going to tell you. Because I hold you as a man of middle class. Just come with me. As far as the matter concerns Chukudin, I'm sorry I cannot help you. Madika, all you've done so far is as good as nothing. Even the suggestion you came up with backfired. I did not only go through pains, I was humiliated. Now that you believe that my suggestions are not favorable, why are you still disturbing me, Chichi? Leave me alone. I'm sorry if my choice of words offended you. But please, I still need your help. Please. I need someone close to Chukudini, but in order to get him. Chachi, listen to me and listen very carefully. Because I'm going to say this only once. Before, Chukudini has no need. But as you speak now, he has a special maiden in his life. No, he doesn't. Yes, he does. In fact, he's ready to do anything to be with this maiden. Now that you know, please leave him alone. I mean, let me be. Um, 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 Madoka. What is it again? Tell me who this maiden is. Her name is the Chesona. She's a sales girl at Mobo's Bar. Now you know. Please leave him alone and don't bring me into this matter again. Thank you. Hey, Chesona. That thing. That sleeve. What is he doing with his sleeve? Please, I beg of you. Please send me on another errand, please. Why? 
Have you not been the one going to buy me bush meat from Chukwe in the first place? Or has he harmed you in any way? No, he hasn't done anything wrong. So why asking me to send you on another errand? I don't understand what is going on here. Is there something you're not telling me? What's happening? He wants me to marry him. You're not serious, are you? Shuku Dinibu, the wealthiest young man in our city kingdom, the most noble of them all, is asking you to be his wife. That's good news. How does that affect your going there to buy me bush? Why should I be the one you would choose? The news of how all the maidens of Osili kill themselves over him is everywhere. Why should it be me? And how is that your fault? Why would you blame yourself that he shows you over them? I don't want trouble. I am only but a stranger in this land. I don't want any trouble at all. Why, why does it have to be me? Hey, now let me ask you a very simple question and I want you to give me a very simple answer. What if it is your destiny to be his wife? Will you be able to stop it because you don't want trouble? I don't see how that is my destiny. Don't be a shy place. Don't be a shy. And let me remind you that very soon people will gather here to eat the bush meat. I don't want to lack the bush meat I will sell at Sunset. Please. <laughs> Is anybody here? I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to What are you doing here? What else would I be doing here if not to come and buy bush meat? Who both sent me? Oh. But we do not supply in the evening. Well, we should know that. He would not have sent me if he knew. Maybe I should go and let him know. He knows. Yet he sent me to come here and embarrass myself. Ajazana. Wait. Come. Let us see how we can help Hobo. Excuse me. Take that to him. I thought you said you don't have any. What you see in there was kept for another customer. Then I think you should keep it for the customer. No one would understand. It's just that the evening is still young and we already ran out. I give that to you myself, didn't I? You didn't force me to. Take it. Take it to Mobo. Thank you. Thanks, Mom. I not only felt it, I could see it in his eyes. He's truly in love with me. And I love him too, a lot. At least I think I do. 
But what can I do? He is a man of noble character. Sorry, sorry. I wasn't looking. Oh yes, you weren't looking. I said I'm sorry. Yes. She's the one. Hey! Me? Stop me just to do that. Are you... Are you Momo's barmaid? What? Barmaid? I work for Momo. What do you want? You are the one that Chukudinibu has lost his senses to, right? I am talking to you! I asked a question. Are you the one that Chukudinibo, my man, has lost his senses to? Chukudinibo? Oh yes, I know him. As a matter of fact, I am just coming from his house. So if you claim he is your man, I think you should ask him that question. My name is Echezona. So you go and ask him if I am the one he has lost his so-called senses to. said she's one timid local girl. Imagine her boldness. actually gave me the one he said he reserved for someone else. Really? That's unlike Chukutini, but he never does that. Well, that's what he told me because I was already on my way out when he called me back and gave it to me. You see what I've been trying to make you understand? Chukutini has never gone this extra mile for me. I believe he did because of you. What's wrong? What would he face? Did you go into a fight with him or what? Over what? I already told him I'm not interested in him, so why should we fight? Prepare the meat. I'm the first about it. Customers are already asking for the meat. Hey, 
chose that I have been looking at you since you came back from Good Nico's house. And I can swear that something is wrong. How can you say you can swear? As if you know me like the back of your palms. Of course I do. You're like my younger sister. And ever since you came to live with me here, I have studied you very well. I know when you're troubled. Just that most of the times I, I decide not to interfere. Chuko Dinibo is a friend of mine that I know in this land very, very much. And if he has started to give you trouble lately, open up to me and I will fall out with you immediately. It's not about him. He hasn't done anything wrong to me. So what's the problem? Is Chuko Dinibo a womanizer? Is he really into women? A womanizer? Where is that coming from? A maiden stopped me on my way home. She almost had a fight with me. She said I'm the one that's making her mad lose his senses over her. <laughs> Why are you laughing? It is not funny. I was embarrassed. It was as if I had slapped another woman's husband. Do you know why I am laughing? Because it is actually very funny. Listen to yourself. The maiden in question said, You are the one. Man lost his senses. That's very funny. I don't, what does that mean? I don't even understand what she meant by that. You, you don't need to bother yourself understanding what that means because it means absolutely nothing. I don't know this maid that stopped you along the road, and I don't want to know. But there is something I know. Shuko Dinibu is a man I know so well in this land, and he's a man of noble quality. As we speak. There is no single woman in this life, not to talk of me with an eyes. So my dear, if you have started to feel anything for me, as you now want to give me a chance, please, go ahead. No, 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 it's not that. It's not that at all. It's just that I was really mad. She, she was just going on and on. I was wondering why... A man with such a beautiful maiden will want to go after another one. Because the Shuku Dinibo we are talking about is the dream of almost all the maidens in this land. So it is understandable that they have all gone around fighting over him with all other maidens. That shouldn't give anything matter. Shouldn't bother you. Oh, Nothing will change the fact that you are a pathological liar and a deadly deceiver too. Well, you can call me anything you like, but that will not change the fact that both of you hate yourselves. You can kill yourselves over a man that will never accept you. You know what? You are a big fool. Get out of this house before I do something drastic. Wait, what was she even thinking of when she was coming here? I would have beaten her with hot water if she had come to my house. Would you actually leave now? Get out! I will leave. Yeah. Calm down. I will leave. But not without delivering my message. To what nonsense oh. message? You know Chuku Dinibo. The very man we all have been killing ourselves to have. Oh, we now? Yes, we. He now has a woman in his life. Um, Zara. Have you done it already? I mean, you went behind me to see Chuko de Nibu. Me? I have not set my eyes on him for a long time. But I'm certain that it is Uzoma. Maybe she has finally charmed you with her food. Oh, just shut up! Just shut up, fools. Just, just shut it. If you do not know what to say, shut up! Chuku Dinibo has his eyes on Echezona. The meeting that works at Mobo's Bush Bar.
Well, I expected that look on your faces. I'll be on my way now. I only thought I should let you know there is a new enemy. I advise you should check her out. I only came here to buy meat, nothing more. And trust me, if I had my way, I would not be here. Why? Chesana, why? Is it a crime to love? Is it? I love you. And I want you. I'm not deceiving you. I know. I didn't say you're deceiving me. I just don't want trouble. I cherish the job I do and the little I earn from it. And I don't want that ruined. Ruined? So marrying me will ruin it for you? Why, why would you say such a thing? I know what I'm saying and I expect you to understand too. I do not understand. Please make me understand. <laughs> I have never loved before because I've been very scared of getting involved with any woman. Until you came into my life. All that changed when you came into my life. This is not happening, Chukwu Dibu. Chukwu Dibu, why? Why? Why are you doing this? What? What are you doing to yourself? Why do you want to drag your good name to the mud? <laughs> is, is this what you chose over me? This bad magic? This is exactly what I was talking about. Okay, Zona. Okay. Okay. Okay, Zona, please come. Go. She would have made her go, please. I believe she understands that she does not deserve you. Please, let her go. Please, please. Oh, please. Look at me. Take me to your people. Make me your wife. And you will forever know joy. I promise you. Now listen. I want you to leave this compound this moment and never ever return. Do you hear me? I do not want to see you here when I come back. upon myself. Did I make a mistake by coming here to work? Why would such a noble man want to make me his wife? Because he loves you. Why me? You have all it takes to be a wife to any good and responsible man. How can you say that? With my past? No noble man will want to be with me when he hears about my past. Love conquers everything. He truly loves you and will accept your past no matter how dark it is. No. No, I'm not ready for this. 
I can't let him or anyone in this place know about my past. I can't. I am sure that he will get tired of me one day and give up. Yes. I shall continue to say no to him. I must not give in to his pressures. I do not know you. This is the very first time I'm setting my eyes on you. Who are you and what are you doing in my compound? Must you know me to precise and reconcile the things I said? The things you said? What have you said? That we have something in common? That our lives are similar? That we are one, ultimately? What does that even mean? You smile. Why do you smile? Listen. I have a feeling that you are a spirit. Probably an evil spirit. Introduce yourself properly and state your mission clearly. Or I will have no other choice than to treat you as an enemy. Just... All is well. I forgot something. What else did you know? I couldn't sleep, so I came outside. Are you okay? Yes. It's just a bad dream I had. It made me uncomfortable. You mean you were still up at this time? Standing here because of a late dream, not even a nightmare. What dream is that? The dream I. Never mind. Don't worry about it. Yes, yes, okay. you came to work with you told me you to So what did you come and understand? I have a problem with is a service. 
Which is not as nice as this one. is to watch my beautiful etches and ash. You are the blood that keeps me alive. I can't get enough of you. Get me the drink. I just want to observe you. Come on, turn around. Don't do that. You will fall. Stop it. Turn. <laughs> She's just the very best. Hey, Mude. You know, in as much as I, I want to sell a lot of bottles of my wine, but I must have to remind you that you have a small bottle. So you have to be careful how you drink my wine. You two have grown cool mass. Mude. Mude. Do with that bed. Yeah, she comes. Fresh bottles. Enjoy yourself. The great man of Uru neighbor. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. The greatest palm wine tapa in our land. I greet you. You are welcome. Thank you very much. I feel excited seeing people like you coming to my bar. Because it gives me this impression that I'm going to sell a lot today. I don't know if to take that as a compliment. Because. <laughs> like, how many bottles do you have? Two will not make me lose my head now. Really. No, no. Sit down. Hey, Shasana! Eshe Zona! Eshe Zona! She seems to be doing everything possible to avoid me. But I have consistently asked her to stop. What's going on? Don't worry about it. You can serve me today. I will manage. Thank you. Calm down, calm down. It's me. 
it's just... What are you doing here? Looking for you. And you? Me? I... I just came to... Uh, I was trying to see if... I was... Where did you go to me? Oh, she just left. She left? Yes. How? He said that he's coming back. Okay. Enjoy your wine. <laughs> Let me help. You were uh, trying to hide from me. I understand. They ask why you always do your best to avoid me. Why that? Bad? I don't want to be looking for me. I should go back to the bar. Yes. Because I was the only one who saw you run away to hide. To hide from me. That's just it. Someday, you will find a place in your heart for me. For us. I dream that someday I will have you by my side. I mean, every word that I have to say. When you say because you say please, please forgive us. And because please. you say forgive me, please. And because you are my own. When you say please, please. please. Oduka, what do you want me to do? Forgiveness. When you say please, please forgive us. I'm very, very sorry. Forgive you for what exactly? For accusing me of stealing your woman? Or for plotting to take my life? I love that. Because you're uh, Please. Uh, because you're uh, Please. Forgive us, please. Yes. Do not punish him for this. I take the blame. Yes. It was all my fault. Because you're uh, All I beg for is your forgiveness, Chukutinibo. Please. Because please. Because you're uh, Please. please. I do not have any right not to forgive you. Thank you. But the truth is that I cannot do that which you ask of me. Hi. Hi. And you say, please, I beg of you. Please, forgive me. Please, I'm sorry. It's our fault. Odukwe, I cannot take you back to work for me. Hey. That is not possible. Hey. I have forgiven you, yes, but my spirit will not let me take you back. Hi. Please. I'll be back with you shortly. Yeah. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please, I need the job. Get up. Please. Huh? Get the job. Please. Get up. Hmm? Please. Thank you. Done. Yes. Thank you. I have forgiven you. Yes. Thank you. And um, I know that you need this job. It's a great deal. Yes. Especially now that you are getting married. And it pains me greatly that I cannot give it to you. Okay? Here. Mm -hmm. Take this. Start a business. Sustain yourself. Sustain your new family. This is the most I can do. Mm. I hope it is good enough. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Asipam kam noro we mo Obi mama we Mbibi alona
Just about to bring it, I'm almost done. Have you finished the washing? Yes. Please sit down. What is going on with you? I asked the question or didn't you hear me? I heard you. There's nothing going on with me. That is if I understand your question. It appears as if you are losing your mind. Even when you walk. Like today, which is still very fresh. You were so lost when you were filling the bottles. You were practically wasting my wine. And this is something that you have been doing lately on a regular basis. I've been monitoring you. Thinking it is something that will pass with time, but it has become very consistent. And I call you to ask, what is eating you up? Echizana, I have told you time and time again that you are like a yoga sister to me. And I want you to see me as your elder brother. Forget the fact that you work here for me. I want us to relate like members of the same family. What is the problem with you? I'm really sorry about what happened earlier today. I was just lost in thought. What thought? The people at home, are they alright? Or did you receive any bad news from your place? No, no, no. no. Everyone is doing well. Everyone is fine. Is it about him then? Him. Who? You love him, right? Chukwu Dinibu. You love him. So all these upset mindedness is because of Chukwu Dinibu. Is he not? It's just like, why are you punishing yourself? Why are you not willing to give this young man a chance in your life even when it is clear to me that you love him? What have you not done to push him off? And he has remained very consistent coming. What's your problem? Or are you keeping yourself for any other man? No, I've not been with any other man since I turned 15. Then why are you not giving him a chance? Chukudinibu is good for you. If he's not good for you, I wouldn't have allowed him to come near you in the first place to make that proposal. And I, I, I allowed him because I know he means well. Why are you punishing yourself? Why are you subjecting yourself to this kind of trauma? I called you here this night to talk to you as a brother. And I want you to critically think what I have just said this night. 
give it a thought because he means well. I will leave you now. But I want you to think about what I just said. I will see you tomorrow. Just this. It's not even up to one supply. Just take it to Wobo. He will understand. He said he has already settled the bill. Indeed he has. Okay. I'll be on my way. No. Anna Quincy. Mumu's business must be running down for you to ask for such a small amount of meat. Something tells me that Mumu got that meat for free. Machi? Huh? Oh, my own Oh, my own Oh, my Oh, my Oh, my Oh, my own Oh, my Oh, Oh, my Oh, Carry on. I'll be with you shortly. Oh, my Oh, my I wonder what he will do if she fails to fall for three minutes. Huh. It baffles me. Oh. It baffles me why Onyisi has sworn to kill himself over that maiden. What, did do? Eh? what does she have that other maidens don't have? Eh? Oh, I, don't want to I believe there is something he must have seen that a dickhead like you will not see. Huh? Mana, what about what? What about what? Okay. Please wait. Chukudini, you left your business. I would like to talk to you. Is there any mistake with the meat? Well, actually, no, well, well actually, yes. It, uh, it's, well, the thing is, the meat is not for Mubu. I knew it, because I was wondering why he would order such a small quantity of bush meat. Well, the meat is, isn't for Mubu. He told me that you were going home to see your people, so I decided to give it to you to, to take to them. How was I supposed to know? I was straight into this. Anyway, thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate this, but I can't accept it. Why? It's just a gift. Come on. You're a noble man. I'm very influential. And I respect that about you. I have a lot of respect for you. Please don't make me lose it. Have I done anything wrong? It's just a gift from my heart. I don't want anything from you. I know why you're doing this and I can't accept this. I already told you I am not interested in you or any other man for that matter. Please respect that decision. And what if I refuse to respect that decision? I mean, what is wrong with being with me anyway? Am I that bad? You know, I have those dreams every night, and uh, you and I are always happy. We seem happy. I have them every other night, and I can't wait to make them come true. What are the dreams about? About us. You and I. Happy, together, plain. But it breaks my heart when I wake up in the middle of the night and 
do not see you beside me. It's funny. Yes, it is funny because I have the same dreams too. Really? Yes, every other day. <laughs> really? <laughs> this, this, this is a good sign. You two, let's make this work. Let's, let's just make this work. I mean, I know, I know you think about me too. And seeing me in your dreams, that, it's a good sign. Indeed, it's a sign, but I do not know if the sign is a good one or a bad one. But what I know is that I cannot be with you, Chukudine. I'm sorry. Your refusal has probably made him sick. Sick? He's not well. He's critically sick. Critically? He was here a few days ago and he looked alright. I met him down yesterday when I went to get the supplies. Very down. And you didn't tell me. I just did. It's already late, I can't go and see him now. And who is asking you to go and see him? After all, you don't care about him. life is this? What have I done to deserve this kind of punishment? <sighs> Making me lot. He possesses all the qualities I want in a man, but I cannot be with him. You are the one punishing yourself. Says who? You are the one stopping yourself, Echezona. You can be happy with Chuku Dinibu and you know it. All you have to do is just open up to him. I cannot open up to him, neither can I be with him. He's a noble man, I can't. He deserves someone better. Please, stop deceiving me. I am not deceiving you. You are. Just go away, stop talking to me. I don't want to hear anything again. Leave me alone. I don't deserve a man like Chuku Dinibu. Leave me alone, please. You deserve to be happy again. Do not stop yourself. I'll make a mockery of myself if I if I choose to be with him. I can't, please. Leave me alone. Him. My lord, I came as soon as I heard. How are you doing? Hmm? I'm getting better. You shouldn't have bothered to come. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. You don't have to say a thing like that, you put in there. You know how much I care about you. Eh? You know how. Oh, you put in me, mom. Hey, how do you feel? Eh? How do you feel now? I could not help but come when I heard you sick. Sorry. Sorry. 
This is your medicine. Have you taken it? Yes, sir. Are you sure? Yes, take it. Yes. So easy. <laughs> Sorry. 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 Zara, did you not tell me that you are going to Agaba Abomini? What are you doing here? What does it look like you've done? Are you not supposed to be attending to your sick brother? Are you not? Anyway, I don't have that time. Hey, good morning. Oh, sorry. Oh, I'm here for you, okay? I'm here now. Sorry. Have you eaten anything? I can pick up something for you. Uh, no, don't, don't bother. Don't bother. I am being taken care of. Mm, by who? This ones? Of course you know they cannot take care of you like I can. Please, allow me, okay? I don't want to believe this. I, I told you ladies that I am doing well to take care of you. My, my girl, etches on Do you feel better? Do you feel better? Expected you to come. Thank you for caring. I'm here. <coughs> oh, can you imagine that man, woman? Etches on her. Which woman bears etches? That is why I called her man, woman. This is a slap on you. How could two cold in the stoop so low? Imagine. I mean, that girl is way, way below his status. Yes, 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 yes. See, we we'll have to stop Chukudini. Yes. We we'll have to let that girl know that she does not belong to Chukudini's class. We. Who are the we? Okay, okay. Assuming we stop her. Who then takes Chukudi? Have you no senses at all? Would you rather he marries her? What is that? I, I was only trying to help us here. Wait, did you just say help us? Who is fooling who? Please, you are on your own. Yay! I hope it means that two of you have given up already. <sighs> okay, at least I have only that one bad medal to contend with.
trying to talk. Won't you at least ask us what we want? No. How can she ask that? She already knows why we are here. A rat always knows the owner of the fish it steals. In that case, I assume you already know why we stopped you. What did you just do? Mm. Buy one sailor. Yeah. Cheap stranger that sleeps with all we most customer. Mm -hmm. Did you just raise your filthy hand to hit me? Did you? Answer now. Of course you will not talk. You will not open that your smelly mouth. Ukunu. You can do all you want to do. Say all you want to say. But I will not have you call me names. Hey! I will not stand here and listen to you call me names. Hey! <laughs> Finally, she opens this her stinking gutter <laughs> god mouth to talk. If we insult you, what will you do? Hey! What? What will you do? I will not take it. Hey, Zara mm. one name. Mm -hmm. Biko. Help me call this smelling rat a befitting name. Look at this cheap stranger mm. that sleeps with all men. Mm -hmm. You're not ashamed of yourself. Mm -hmm. eh? I will not run out for mm. If you open that your mouth to call me names again, I will deal with you. If you have issues with Chuku Dinibo, deal with it with him and not me. Mm. Hear me? Hear me? Mama. Ne. Ne. You've been carrying on like this for some time now. Without saying a word. It's it's nothing, Mama. Did he come? So why has he stopped coming? Mama, please. I do not wish to discuss Chuku Dinibu. Why? You've always discussed him. Uchechi, what have you done to scare him away? I've always warned you about your bad attitude. What have you done? Mama, why do you sound like this? What bad attitude? is not interested in me. It's as simple as that. Mm -hmm. So it's true. You scared him away with the same bad attitude you got from your arrogant father. So what are you going to do? Hmm? Mama, please. Mama, please, I, I don't like the way you're talking. You're supposed to consume me for this loss. But no, you are tormenting me. You know the risk I took just to get his attention. Yeah. But you know. <laughs> Uchechi, why did he stop coming? Why did he stop coming? Convince me you didn't do anything stupid. That's all I wish to know. Every maiden in this land wishes to be his wife. We all fought one another secretly and in the open. Little, little did we know that he had other plans. What plans? Maduka first told me, but I, I thought it wasn't serious. I... 
Mama, Chukudini is getting married to the maiden that works at Momo's bar. He's, he's getting married to, to the lady from Aki. <laughs> A maiden everyone believes is wayward. The news is everywhere. Mama lost it. <laughs> Despite the risk I took, is it a crime to love and wish to be loved back? Is it, is it a crime? <laughs> Baba. 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 I want you to look around. Explore the woman in you. Chukwu the Nibu may be a wealthy hunter, but he's not the only man around. So happy that you do not know how happy you have made me. By agreeing to take you to my people. Do you know how long it took me to get you to say yes? We both know it's an honor to be called your wife. Yet it took you so long to accept. There's a reason. There's a reason I did all like this. I have agreed to take you to my people, to know my people. But there's something I want to tell you. There's something you have to know. Something I don't know already? There's a reason I've been alone all this while. And that same reason is why I tried everything within me to stay away from you. You've already sworn to me that the love you have for me is very strong and nothing can break it. Shukudinabu does not do or say things just for the sake of doing or saying them. I love you. And nothing can change that. And nothing is going to change the way I feel about you. There's a reason I've been alone all this while. And that same reason is why I've tried everything within me to stay away from you. I'm here for you. Whatever the reason is, whatever it is, just tell me and we'll solve it together. I think I know why you are here. But for purposes of clarity, I will ask you to speak. Why are you looking for yourself? I came here as a friend. But the way you're sounding has put me off. I don't think I want to talk to you. Now, listen to me, you just put out whatever your name is. I am aware that you are one of the maidens of this land that have decided for first lessons of to lose her senses. Am I right or wrong? Really? So you are supporting her? You know, most of the times when I look at you maidens of my land, I will start wondering if you support the breast of wild animals after your mothers are free. Why are you all behaving like wild beasts, all of you? Why? This is an insult, and I will not take it from you. Do you know what? Leave my face as in this minute. Can you, can you, can you imagine? Hoglums that are calling themselves maidens of my land. I don't know what to say right now. I... I'm totally devastated. Completely devastated. I don't even know how to... I don't know what to say. Good morning. 
why it is on why why Someone approached me with words that were very difficult for me to process at that age. I got confused and he took advantage of me. I lost my virginity and I got pregnant. I had the baby at the age of 15. Please, I love you very much, but this is beyond me. If we get through this, I promise you here and now that I accept to be your wife. So hard all my life because I want to become king of Urunebo someday. But how can I take a woman who already has a child home as my queen? This is not even about me anymore. It's, it's about the good people of Urunebo. They will not accept this. They surely won't accept this. What is up? Greetings. To Woody Nibu. How are you today? Very good, very good. We're off to the bush again, hoping that the gods will bless the work of our hands. Oh, wow. Well, today will be better. We do. I saw you acting as if you left something in the house or you forgot something. Oh, no, I didn't, I didn't forget anything. I'm, I'm actually going hunting. That's obvious. I was hoping to meet you at home. That's why I started coming as soon as I woke up. You were going to my house? Yes. I, you know how hunting is. I really need to check the traps as early as possible. You have been avoiding me, haven't you? Obim, what did I do? I told you everything about myself because I love you and I don't want to lose you. If there's anything you want to tell me, tell me to my face so I know my fate. What did I do? What's the problem? I'm not avoiding you. I'm not. You're not avoiding me. You can't tell me that. Okay, when was the last time you saw me? You hardly even come to the bar anymore. What is the problem? There is no problem, Eche. And I'm not avoiding you. Why would I avoid you? You, you, 
know how it is now. I've, I've just been very busy lately. <laughs> you know what? I promise. I'll make it up to you. Okay? I'll let you go check on your traps. Mm -hmm. I pray our ancestors and the gods of our land crown your efforts as always. Asipam kam noro emo obi mama we bibi alona How many have you counted? What? Thirteen. Okay, okay. For fourteen. Ah. Greetings. Hi. Hey. Our wife. You're welcome. Thank you. Is Chupu Dinibo in? Hey, oh. No, again, okay, what? what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> is everything okay? okay. Everything is fine. Uh, everything is fine. Uh, actually, everything is fine. Okay, let me go and see him. <laughs> Our wife. <laughs> what is going on here? Uh, actually, only she is not around. I just. Yeah. You just told me he's. Don't mind that, Nakwenze. He can be foolish sometimes. Eh? Hey, uh, only see when. Somewhere. He, he left this morning. When will he come back? I don't know. He didn't say. <coughs> From the look of things, he will not be coming back today. Ah, yes. He went with those two guns. Ah. And that other bag. Hi. Anytime he carries that bag, just give him two days. Yeah. He might not even come back. Maybe he might tomorrow. Not come back. Tomorrow. Okay, I have. I'm just good. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> bye bye, away. I I told Ali. What is wrong with you? I just. Huh? I'm going to You must be a fool. Why can you make such a blunder? Yeah, she, 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 I, I totally forgot. Imagine. Count. But come, come. Uh, why will Onishi tell us to tell her that he is not around? Be a blockhead. Go in there and ask. And you find out. Why is it? You're not worried. Count, my friend. 14, 14. 15. 15, okay. 15. doing everything to avoid me. But you told me he said he's been very busy. I don't think so. He's always been a very busy person. Always at time. But it is possible something came up that kept him very busy. Be patient with him. I was at his house today. Can you believe he was inside the house but told his men to tell me he's not around. Are you serious? He did? I knew he was going to come to this, but I didn't expect him to handle it like this. What? Do you have any idea why he's avoiding me? I've always known I'm not good for him. That was why I helped him. I was just trying to be honest. I opened up because he told me I was going to see my people. I didn't want him to hear from someone else. I have this feeling that there is something you are not telling me. Can you speak it? Oh boy, you never visit me this late. I hope all is well. Shubu Dinibu, I came to find out what is happening between you and the Shazana. You confided in me that you love her so much and that you wanted to make her your wife. I, I want to find out. Have you suddenly changed your mind? Oh, boy, well, my friend. It is not like that. It is not. She told me that you practically avoid her these days. I wouldn't have believed. But then again, I have witnessed it myself. 
it is very glaring to me that you are avoiding her. And I want to find out. Uh, what is going on? I, I really wish that this was not happening. I wish. And the worst part is that there's, there's nothing I can do about it. She would enable what did she do? I cannot tell you that which bothers my heart. You see, men who are men do not judge people based on their past actions. Echezona has lived with me for a very long time now and I can tell you that I know her very much. Whatever mistakes she may have made as a, as a teenager growing up, has no bearing whatsoever with what she has become now as a young woman. We all do make mistakes. She told you? Yes, she told me. That your attitude towards her changed the very moment she told you of the mistakes she made as a teenager. I don't understand. What? Well, wait. I don't know what to do. It's very difficult for me to accept. It's very hard and this is not just about me. It's about my future in Urunebo, my land. Chukudunebo, that maiden is weakened. That maiden is almost ruined. And I see her taking her life. And if that happens, I want you to understand that you shall be held responsible. That maiden was on her own when you came to her with promises of love, with how you, you, you wanted to take good care of her. You brought her over and she started to love you. She gave you herself and what did you do? You abandoned her. And I came here this night to tell you something. That if that maiden takes her life on the account of this wickedness of yours, the same God of Urunebo that you speak highly of, we never ever forgive you for systematically destroying an innocent maiden. This is why I came here this night to look you into the face and tell you all this. And I want you, I want you to ponder on those words. Good night. I don't understand why you're still carrying this face. Have I not apologized? And have I not accepted the apology? Then brighten up, Amaka. This is not the face I used to know. Hmm? Set. This is a city you want to set you can set. So why are you here? Nee. I came with good news. She could in Igbo had jitted his palm wine cellar of a maiden. What? I mean, how? The last thing I heard was he proposed to her. So what it happened? That was the news till he discovered something ugly about her. She is after one. After one? What do you mean by that? As a teenager, she became a mother. She has a child in Akini. Oh, poor Ichizuna. I pity her. But is that why you're happy? Listen, Chikubi, this could happen to anyone. Yes. Mm. At least, I stand a chance of winning him back. <laughs> you stand a chance of winning him back. So you're not tired already? You're not tired? If I were you, my dear, hmm? I will find a way to reconcile with one maddie that loves you so much and wants to even make you his wife. 
Good day. Find a chance to win it. Oh, we need him back. I beg, drop that angle. I heard Izuki is coming with his people soon. Yes, sir. He is. And very soon I'll be his wife. Thank God he's doing well with the money the Chukutinibu settled him with. I'm happy for you, my friend. Thank you. If you like, be there. Please, I can't wait to rest that day. Please welcome. Please you know. What is the problem? Did anyone die? It's about uh, HSL. What about HSL? Uh, you see, I went to supply meat to Hobo, and he told me that she ran away. She has returned to Aki. She didn't tell you. He doesn't know. Let me see. You seem to be avoiding her lately. Is everything okay? You are a man that has the blessing of the gods. But as we speak, sincerely, I don't think that feeling is still the same. Why would you say such a thing? Why would you speak this way, woman? You bet that girl to love you. You told her in your honor that the love both of you have for one another is so strong that nothing will come to give both of you. She started to trust you. She started to believe in you and she opened up to you about her past. Because she sees you as a, 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 man, of, a man of honor. What did you do? You used that information against her by abandoning her? I did not abandon her. I was shattered by the information. I told you about my ambitions and how her status would interfere. Don't, don't, don't tell me that! What are you saying? You made her get to love you. You told her here in your honor. What do you think? That she is everything to you. What did you do? You don't have the decency to tell her to her face that it's not going to work out between both of you. You don't have the decency to do that. Listen to me. I am telling you to your face that what you did is not what a man of noble quality like you should do. And I am telling you now that I'm disappointed in you. Very, very disappointed in you. What nonsense. What have you come here to do again? What? Odogu Nagogu, please. I really need your help this time. I now have a better chance of making him mine. You think so? Yes, yes. Then what has changed? The road has been cleared. The maidens are withdrawing one after the other. He has broken his marriage plan with the maiden from Aki. Now what do you want Odogu Nagwago to do for you? As we speak, he is in a vulnerable state. He is shattered by his loss. So I think this is the best time for me to finally capture his heart. Love, they say, is a powerful medicine. When a man truly falls in love, he falls deeply. You can make him fall in love with you naturally. You had a chance of making him fall in love with you and you lost it. Please, 
I promise you, I will make proper use of it this time. Please just give me one last chance. Please, I won't fail. Go and never return. Odogu na gogo. We have nothing to do with an unserious and careless mind like you. Please. Asi pam kam no ro we mo obi mama we ngbi bi alona ndomo. A pata royal no so e beta royal no ko. It is established. That our king, the Ezidu of Urunebo Kingdom, has joined our ancestors. The four of you here, standing before the Edu tree, are all equally qualified to rule over our great kingdom. But, as you all know, only one person must become the king. And that person as the one who can lift the sacred staff of the king. The staff of Idu is your problem. Must they involve the staff of Idu? Are you afraid of the staff? Not exactly. But we had kings that reigned with, without the staff. Pray it happens that way. If they involve the staff of Idu, run for your life. The staff can kill. If your hands are not clean. You know why I am here. I need to be guided. You are one step from being a king of your land. The gods hold you. But there could be an obstacle. The staff of Idu. It has always been a limiting factor to men that aspire to be kings. Could you please explain that to me? The star of Idu is a symbol of strength. It is always used to test any spiritual strength of any man who has aspired to be a king of your land. Many are out, but only one survives. You speak plainly because I would like to reign as a king in Irunebo someday. Only the mighty man have been able to lift it and leave. If definitely you will require to touch the staff of Idu to emerge as a king of your land, then you must examine yourself. Don't touch it if you're not sure of your spiritual purity because it will actually kill you instantly if you toy with it. The staff of Idu is powerful and intimidating. It can kill or honor in your life even if you are drunk. Do not toy with the sacred staff of Idu. I know I'm from the royal lineage of Uru Nebo, and one day I might be required to rule as king, but how can that happen without the sacred staff? You're a young man that take advantage of maidens. Just pray that the sacred staff of Idu is not in the picture, because if he does, I'm afraid Something disastrous might happen.
not only the brave, but the spiritually pure can do this and live. So I want you all to search your conscience. Are you prepared for this epoch making history? The process starts now. I withdraw from the race because I cannot continue with this process. I know what the secret staff of Idu represent. I equally withdraw. I didn't know it will result to this test of purity. I equally with you. The court is You are the only one standing. Are you the one chosen by the gods to lead our great kingdom? I have lived and worked hard all my life for the strong. The opportunity is here, and I can't give up out of fear. The court is Prove to all that they are the chosen one. Lift this secret staff of office. And once it's proven that you are the chosen one, we shall proceed to the next phase. Go on, lift it! A bombard dreaded woman. The only woman who communes with our ancestors through the streets. You are the only one who could try this and get away with it. Why did you stop the process? I am here with a message from our ancestors. Which is? Chukudinibu. Who only lifts the sacred staff after he must have gone to Ire to pick Odudueze from the chosen of the gods. Kings emerge in Urunebu after picking Odudueze from Ire Kingdom. That is the message from the gods and they expect it follow to the later. A bombard dreaded woman. We don't come here to give God message. If you were not sent by the gods. Before I hurt her, go and get the Bidueze. Once you have it in your hands, then we shall proceed to the next phase. Brother, what are you insinuating? Nothing. Nothing. I'm just wondering why the chief priest did not know about it before Aboma came. Did he tell you that he didn't know anything about it? Well, no, he did not. But if he did, he would have said something. I mean, I was just about to raise the staff before she interfered. Aboma is like the mouthpiece of our ancestor. I know her very well to say she's a very nice woman. Approach her. Ask for more assistance. She might even decide to accompany you to Ibe. You really think she would do that for me? Brother, do not keep looking down on yourself. You are easy Idu in making. Go to her 
Solicit for assistance. You never can tell what will happen next. You have a point. Let me give it a try. Ever since you came back from Usli and established yourself here in our land, you've refused to look at the maidens of this land that I keep presenting for your consideration. Ukukueke, my sister. Let me understand you. Let me understand what you're trying to say. Now that our land is in a very crucial state, that I'm supposed to be planning on how to collect the Ududueze and become king, you want us to stand here and discuss maidens? Really? My brother, now that it is certain that you emerge as the next king, you need a wife. I am sure that is what the chief priest had in mind when he mentioned the next phase. Forget about the maiden of Aki we lost in Usi and settle for a maiden here in our land. <laughs> Must be mine to sit on that throne. My darling sister, if you do not bother about my affairs, who will? Huh? Who will? I understand. Thank you for everything. But we have to take it one step at a time. One thing after the other. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, are you sure? Must think about it. You are Wally, sir. The chosen one. You have no idea what we have gone through to come before you today. Why are you making us doubt the whole process? I have been expecting this visit, but the gods have already told me about the brave and powerful man that will arise to rule Urunebo. If you must succeed, then you must not doubt someone like me. We have come a long way. I naturally wouldn't have been part of this mission, but I elected to come because of the way he pleaded. I want you to tell me everything you know about the process. I must admit before you that I do not know everything. Chosen one, is he going to be the next king? There are powers I need to consult. They must approve before I speak. All I know is that a great man will rule Urunnebo soon. As you said already, He's brave and powerful, and he has all the qualities of a good king. We are here because he must pick Ududueze from here to lift the staff of the king. I shall call you to join me. I have my doubts about him. Why would God choose someone so young to be the chosen one? That young man is the chosen of the gods. He is not even from Ire. Are you serious? Where is he from? Come forth. Good in the world. How was it? The sacrifice was successful. Chukudi Nebo is truly that great king that Urun Nebo has been waiting for. Oh, may the gods be blessed. 
I have gotten all the confirmation that I need. And there is nothing that will stop me from giving him the good words now. That was the thunder of extended truth. What do you mean by that? The gods have a message for me. I don't like that look. What message have you brought from the gods? Look up. We must lower the dresser. Rangers rainbow in the sky. Really? That is the decree of the gods. The dress there must not be lowered for a possible handover when there is still rainbow in the sky. So what shall we do? We must wait till the rainbow disappears. Even if it takes the whole day? Even if it takes the whole year, we must wait. Getting late already, yet the rainbow is still in the sky. You have the chosen one. You must remain here till the Ududuese is given to you. And you? Are you going to stay with me for that long? My job here is finished. I have the works of my ancestors to attend to. When you are given the Ududuese, return with the good news. So you plan to leave me here all by myself? Is the next king of Urunewa afraid? Even the enemies know that I fear no one. Then you must remain here. The gods are with you. I must leave now. I will inform the chosen one that I'm leaving. Not the most important thing. What matters is that you have the dresser in your position. I am very glad. Once again, I congratulate you. Thank you, chosen one. Dinner will soon arrive. <laughs> I can see the chosen one is happy today. I told you food will soon arrive. Is this, is this really you? You know each other? What are you doing here? I thought, I thought you were supposed to be at Akihi. Do not do it. I am the chosen one of the gods. You know it's dangerous to leave my presence when I did not dismiss you. I need to know what's going on here. I am glad my son is the one helping you achieve your goals. Your son? Who is your soul? The chosen one. 
He is that child I had when I was a teenager. He's the one the gods have chosen to work for them. What? He's the reason you rejected me. He is Chukudimimu. Chukudimimu? Did you not tell me that you met that particular Chukudimimu at the ceiling? He only lived there, but he's from Urunibu. You mean... I don't want to believe this. Is this not a small world? She's the last person I expected to see her. The gods are wise indeed. The same boy that is the reason why you rejected her turned out to be the one that will give you the thing you need to become a king. What an irony. The same reason why I thought that being with her would ruin my chances of being king turned out to be the anchor that I need. Hey. Uh, and you say she's not married? She said that as soon as she returned to her king, I learned that her son was the chosen one by the gods of the earth. She vowed never to marry. Rather, she decided to stick by her son and take care of him. Does it mean you don't have any chance of being with her again? From what I saw, I doubt she will ever consider me again. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Oduko was at the meeting when he came to invite the men of the city to his coronation. He told me everything. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. I knew it. I could almost feel it. Check it. Are you sure you're okay? What are you talking about? You see, I knew there was something special about him. Just that I couldn't lay my hands on it. Now you see, he's a king. Check <laughs> the most times when you talk. You amaze me. Yes. But don't tell me you're still crushing me. Forget that, my dear. Who have you chosen to be his wife? I don't know. Nobody knows. Maybe we'll soon find out. We don't know yet. How I wish they will allow him marry from anywhere. He's surely the kind of man I need as my husband. Jacob, I would so appreciate it if you talk responsibly. Yes. You're now with one, Madi. You shouldn't be dreaming of any other man. Please. Thank you. Please and please and please. Be careful with your choice of it. Drag me down to your neighbor. Just look around. Is there any maid in here that can beat me to that? You always think you know everything, yet you know nothing. Yes. I take that to be an insult. How could you say a thing like that? Here you are, hoping that the emerging king will pick you today. While it's already known to everybody in the village that he took a wife yesterday. Yes.
I hate that movie with so much passion. Is it with What for? She sure don't know what she's planning. I'm sure she's here to throw herself at him. I don't know when she will ever give up. Huh. That makes both of you. Desperate medicine of for sale. When will you give up on a man that he's destined to serve us? Today is a very special day in the lives of our people. A day when the gods have decided to show us that they, in their infinite wisdom, are wiser than us. Their ways are better than our ways. Their vision for us is much bigger than us. By the gods, before my coronation today, I want to present to you all Echezana, my queen. By the gods, we were wedded yesterday. 
So from today henceforth, she will rule by my side as your queen. By the powers vested on me as a chief priest of Urunebo Kingdom, I, Ogwefe Agubanze, hereby crown you Ezi Anundi Mojolo, the Ezi Idu, the 16th of Urunebo Kingdom. May your reign bring peace, joy, and tranquility into our kingdom. What are you doing here? What are you doing here yourself? 
Listen, Uchechi. Something very deep happened back there. And I need time to reflect on my way forward. Excuse me. Uzoma. <sighs> Can you exempt yourself from blame? Can you? Maidens of Osili stayed away from Urunibo because they know I should be the one. But no, you couldn't stay back. You brought your cursed body to this place. You are the one that is cursed over and over again, not me. Nonsense. You never see anything good in life. Uzoma, stay away from me. Stay far, far away from me and all that concerns me. If you ever cross my path again, I'll kill you. Wait, wait, wait. When one door closes, another door will open. Chuku Dinibo is married now, and there's nothing both of us can do about it. I will go back and reconcile with my Okudili. What about you? Do you have anywhere to hide? Do you have any man of your own? You have nothing! So you are cursed and cursed forever. Rubbish. Nonsense. Didn't you see me? What is it? I am on my way to your house. Oh. Well, as you can see, I'm heading to the farm. So why are you here? I, 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 I was coming to your house to say hello, to know how you're doing. Like I earlier said, I have to be at the farm now before the sun comes out. Um, I'm not busy today. Can I come with you no, to the no. farm? Don't come to the farm with me. As a matter of fact, today should be the last time you ever stop back and say hello to me. I do say hello. Hey, see, Biko, 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 please. Please don't act like this, people. We have come a long way. Of course. Eh? We have come a long way in being strangers. Or ultimately enemies. Come, stay away from me. Oh, good day. Come down, just follow me. Thank you for making me a father. I should be the one saying that. Obi, mm -hmm. thank you for making me a wife and now a proud mother. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow is a sound ceremony. I have not asked me the name I will call my son. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's your duty to name your son. I wanted to wait till tomorrow so that I would know the name him. You make me happy whenever you say that. You are really a gift from the gods. And I will love you forever. I promise to love you too. So tell me, what name should I expect tomorrow? Hmm. To 
को देने दो That's a surprise I will give to my people tomorrow. I will name him after a great man because I want my son to be great. Baby, be quiet. You come. What a great name. Asa is a sacred tradition practiced by our Usili people. Seven days after a child is born, the people will gather, make merry, and then name the child. This ancient ceremony clears the way for the child and banishes the spirit of death. I am not happy that all your mates are married and doing a sound one. For they are young and you're still here. Why are you telling me all of this? Why? You know I am a wounded woman right now. And I need all the concentration I can get to reinvent myself. Oh, JJ, how can you talk about reinventing yourself when your beauty cannot attract credible suitors to yourself? Please, I need you to get married because it's becoming an insult. Insult? Yes. What insult, mother? But are you trying to frustrate me into marrying just any man simply because you need me to be married? Is that what you're trying to do? Do you have a man to show? Do you? Sensible maidens don't put all their eggs in one basket. Oh, Chechi, that's exactly what you did. Mother, I am destined for greatness. And I know that great man will come one day. Bang, bang, bang. Bang, bang, bang. Fanye, who's that? It's me, Odogune Pempe. Greetings. What do you want? Fetcher, fetcher, or darling, now we're Julia Meruni. And what do you mean by that? All our men have decided that no one will marry Chechi. They say that Chechi started them. And now she must remain unmarried. And what have you come to do? To pass the information? Oh well, I have heard you. Ah, Odoguna Pempe of Osiri. I have come to bear the cards. I said to marry me. All the problem will be solved. Daramicha. <laughs> Goma. Oh, Chichi. Let's deal with this. <laughs> You have come to marry me. I came with this drink to announce my intention. I'm the only hope now. I'll be right back. Daramicha. Uchichi.